back to the finish. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I got the light shining, come get it. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I see the people trying to bring them with me. We got a light, tell them come and get it. Yeah. Walk, 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 walk. I walk, 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 walk. We walk. Whoa, I was chasing my glory, then fell asleep. Woke me up and told me to go feed the sheep. Send me deep in the streets just to bring them peace. Yeah, we be where them blickies be busting. Where they end your life with no discussion. But as soon as they see the light rushing, they know that the Lord walking with us, no bluffing. People say that I'm fake, I'm like, okay. Do you walk in the light or you throw shade? One more sex on my skin, I got no shame. We was preaching about Jesus before fame. Get it? Did that. On my side, yeah, he been that. That's the devil where my sins at. On the cross, cause he pinned that. Big thong where he sits at. That hit him, then he hit back. Resurrected, yeah, that's big facts. Told us, hold it down till he get back. Back, get back to the finish. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I got the light shining, come get it. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I see the people trying to bring him with me. We got a light, tell him, come and get it. Yeah, walk with me. Yo, yo, yo. What up, chat? What's good? What's good? W's in the chat. What up, chat? Good morning. We walk. Morning, everybody. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I got the light shining, come get it. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. Walking with Christ, moving where it's gritty. I feel the spirit moving through the city. I see the people trying to bring them with me. We got to tell them come and get it. Yeah. Yo, what is good? Chat, how we doing? Z Gamer is in the house. What up, Z Gamer? What up, got a trade? What's good, everybody? Happy, happy Thursday. Welcome in, welcome in. What up, LeGrand? What's good, what's good? Energy's in the building. What up, Buzz Blab? What's good, everybody? Good to be back. Back to business. Back to business. All right. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Who we got here? Louis G is in the building. What up, Louis G? Let's go. Let's go. Will, Will Too Wise. I like that. Will Too Wise. Back to business, boys. Magnus in the building. AB Mike is in the house. Z Gamer, Louis G. What up, Kelvin? Magnus in the building. Jimmy Williams in the house. What up, Dominic? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. OGH, my man. Good to see you, bro. Let me share my screen here. There we go. Perfect. What up, DT Gamer? What's good? What's good? What's good? How you guys doing today? Everybody doing good? You guys having a good week so far? I like this song. Yeah, I like this song. Yeah. What up, DT Gamer? How you doing? D triple eight. It's good. What up, Dropout Trader? What's good, everybody? Let me uh, let me just finish one thing over here, chat, and we're gonna get back to business. All right. All right. I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Uh, chat's good. Clock's good. Yeah, we good. What up, George VDM? Wags in the building. What's up, everyone? How's the music? Is the music okay? Should I lower it? I think, we're, I think we should be good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. 
Well, welcome in everyone. Good to be back with you all. Man, it was two days. It's like felt like felt like a month. Felt like a month. But uh, we had some fun over there on uh, ASF on the ASFX network. Shout out to everyone that came and pulled up. It was a good time. We had fun. Uh, he told me we got a lot of good feedback. He told me a lot of his traders really um, just resonated with the things we were saying and the things we were talking about. So that's always good. Um, any anytime I can go somewhere and uh, leave and people say that I'm uh, I'm happy and I feel like uh, my job was done. Right. So job done. Back to business here on the live streams. We are ready. It is a brand new day. We're going to pray and then we will get the party started. Right. Let me just lower this. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's pray real quick, and then we're going to get the day started here, chat. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you, Lord. It feels good to be back, Lord. I thank you for um, being here with us, Lord. I thank you for waking us all up today. And like the song says, Lord, we're, we, we have the light, so tell them come and get it, Lord. Bring them in. Bring them in by the dozens. And uh, let's impact their life, Lord. We thank you that your spirit dwells among us. I pray a blessing on our uh, session here today, Lord. I pray a blessing on your people here today. And uh, we just give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Welcome in. If you guys can give the stream a like as you uh, pull up here today, that'd be great. And if you're not subbed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, man. We're here every day, Monday through Friday, outside of this week. That was like the only two days I think I've really ever taken off. Yeah, over the last, like, probably, like, 13 months. So, yeah, we're here Monday through Friday, man, every single day, trading gold, trading a little bit of the NASDAQ, and uh, just talking about things that matter, you know what I mean? So, um, we're going to get into the day here. Uh, today is the 18th. It is uh, Thursday here. It is the 18th of April, so we're cruising away here midway through, actually more than midway through, and um, let's see what we got going on here today. So, not much, man. You know, today's just another day. Like every day's, no matter what you got, red folders, no red folders. It's really just another day to be disciplined, man. Just be, just be a professional, right? In our craft and stick to our playbook and stick to our sample sizing data and the da the data that we're currently sample sizing and learning and growing and getting better every single day. I don't think any trader could say, hey, man, I know everything that the market has to offer. So I think it's just a continuous class, a continuous education day in and day out. And um, we're going to get educated today. All right, we're going to learn something new here today, I'm sure, and uh, we're going to have some fun doing it. So we just got unemployment claims coming in at 8.30. That's that's about it. Other than that, we're pretty clean throughout the day. This week has really, we haven't had too much news at all outside of, I think, Monday we had some news, but that was about it. You know, that was about it. So um, that's it, man. Let's do a top-down analysis. Let's jump into the charts and, and see what we got going on here on gold. So... Uh, let's start here on the weekly time frame and just chop it up real quick. Well, what time is it? Seven. So, yeah, I think the hour candle closed. OK, yeah, let's chop it up real quick and then we'll uh, we'll dive into this. So weekly time frame, right? Weekly time frame is obviously extremely bullish. We've uh, we've uh, let me grab my tools here. We've bounced off of this support level, right? Uh, this support level right here basically bounced off this area and have been running ever since previous candle has a big rejection to the top side we noticed that um that's also um it, it followed a candle that closed with no top wick there so at some point you know we have to begin to pull back a little bit here so uh will we do that this week i don't know you know i don't know we have a bullish candle we have a wick to fill there's still two sessions two two new york sessions left here on this weekly candle today and tomorrow and um you know that that's when we're going to have an answer to that question so right now we are bullish based off of the weekly if we're looking at the daily though we did close bearish yesterday any of you guys take sales yesterday sales were worked out really really good yesterday um as you can see we kind of closed doji right uh very very weak doji almost you can almost cancel it out right where that kind of didn't even happen in a way um, but yesterday's candle we broke the lows we cl we closed pretty strong bearish uh, but the only thing is if you look you know we could make it look all good like this but in reality i mean the daily is just caught up in a nasty range right now right it's just chopping around in this range not not much action happening it's almost to be honest chat the barcode strategy <laughs> is playing out here on the daily in a way right where it's just chopping back and forth so we have no real 
clean price action and you know that's understandable i mean price kind of created support here and moved up very nicely and now we're just like out of breath you know it's like after a long sprint you just gotta chill out for a bit so price is just chilling out now we did create a new high there we did reject uh we closed bullish strong bullish and then we closed doji and then yesterday we closed pretty strong bear so uh you're you've got this resistance at this point now um today should be clean tomorrow may be a little bit cleaner if you get a bullish candle closure above looking something like this right then tomorrow may be a little bit cleaner for price to fill that wick oh, there you go fill that wick right come into that zone there so uh we'll see you know and that's uh tomorrow's the last day of the weekly candle as well so we'll see how that weekly wants to close but let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour we are bearish based off of what yesterday's daily candle is telling us uh, but as we move to the four hour we're bullish right so one of the things that i've been sample sizing when it comes to the daily and the four hour um giving us different information is maybe those are the days where we just simply have right buys above here sells below here right where there's there is no range to where you begin to uh, avoid the range to from the equation uh, because you have a you can build a bias for mo price moving up right due to what the four hours showing and you could also build a case that this could be the high here and if we create resistance then we can drive down right so uh, we're going to keep looking into that idea there but uh, four hour is bullish right we've been coming up as you can see you have you know support right here bullish candle bullish candle bullish candle bullish candle right now as we are making our way up we are coming into this this zone right here right so this is this is a area in which we want to see a, re a reaction from and how are we actually going to close here right or what are we going to do here are we going to continue pushing up breaking highs to fill this wick or are we going to more so create some sort of resistance right something like this right at this level here for price to begin to head down based off of what the daily is telling us now the only way we know that is if we probably break these lows right and what will lead to the break of that low most likely a resistance on the 30 minute or the one hour time frame so let's go ahead and take a look at those time frames and see what we got in front of us so looks like the one hour has um looks like the one hour has some pretty strong level right here in which I, yeah we closed above there right last time the one hour candle uh closed above there we moved up same thing here so yeah i'm probably gonna have buy stops here in just a moment um and then you got you know this support right here so you do have a clean range coming up uh this is a riskier area because we are in that four hour um just nasty rejection zone here so but all in all you did close above right so if you do break that high you should be good to go um so i'm gonna be looking for buys above here which is 2382 today 2382 and then yeah sells below 2377 pretty simple yeah clean day clean day you got a nice clean range here you also have a decent eh, decent range coming down uh for price to trade in so you want to be careful here i am gonna have a buy stop on the break of those highs i'm gonna lower my risk a little bit kind of got this 15 celery 30 breakout one hour breakout here so i'm gonna have a buy stop here but this can also be where we form that resistance right so unless we break that high i don't think this is valid right so we got to break that high there so that's kind of what i'm looking at here currently and that's where we're gonna leave it yeah that's the day targets for sells here are gonna be like 2367 500 nice clean range coming down gold's got a nice clean clean range coming up and yeah that's gonna be it yep this may be maybe where you get the fake out as well one hour candle just started so yeah we still got plenty of time on this thing but uh but yeah that's the day for me um pretty clean pretty clean day yeah not too confusing at all Yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. So yeah, let's see if we can get a bottom wick back into this range and then buy stops in the break of that high look pretty good. 
pretty good. But again, keep in mind, this could really be the area in which we begin to fake out. So we got to also be careful up here. I think there was already a move, right? Kind of, Not really. Nothing too crazy. 20 pip move. Yeah, we'll see. How y'all doing though? Damn, been two days. <clears throat> been two days, too long. Too long since we hit him with the M Mr. Mozzarella. The Mr. Mozzarella, how you doing? Oh, it's too low. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so that's the day chat. Uh, I'm going to pay attention here to see if we break those lows or respect the lows there. If we take them out, I'll probably delete and then just wait for like uh, either a 30 minute celery or a one hour celery. Yeah, no rush. No rush. What up, grind time, Mufasa? Two days too long. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. What up, Shetty? Shetty in the house. Let's get my man. Good to see you here. Um, yo, what up, Jelly J? Let's get what's good. Yeah, who we got here today? Mr. Lopez. Yeah, shout out to all you guys that came and uh, pulled up with me, man. That was that was fun. Big Wick Energy in the building. Oh yeah, I need. A, I think I need to get a shave, chat. I think I need to get a shave. <laughs> Hey, Brennan, how you doing? What's good? What's good? Yeah, can we get the fake out here to uh, to push the daily candle down, right? I would I would expect the four hour to potentially reject in this area as well. So that's why the buys above there are, are a little bit risky, right? Because this four hour time frame has moved up. You would expect some sort of a pullback, right? Especially and, and if you're going to get the pullback, where are you gonna get it right if you're if you're looking from a technical asp or a technical point you're gonna get it somewhere right here right and where is price currently right there so this is where the four hour can begin to turn around right and like i like i was saying in the breakdown if this happened or if the four hour is gonna break the low there and begin to drive you're gonna get the signs on a 30 minute time frame right what sign are you gonna get on a on a 30 minute time frame a fake out right a fake out a closure below and um you know if you can close somewhere up here you still you got a 42 pip range here right so this is a tradable range as well but you would have to close above i'm um, not above but a little bit higher up here otherwise in my opinion it's not worth it right if you let's say you close somewhere like this right where where are we in the range are we are we more towards the top or the bottom we're more towards the bottom right so at that point i'd rather just wait for a closure below there right wait for this close below maybe uh maybe some sort of resistance here that can help us right give us some give us some force and some power or something and then you get a, a closure back below and that's where we could take our trade towards like 815 or so right something like this now you got 815 cells vantage point coming down towards these levels here pretty clean coming down towards like i said you know 23 like 60 65 66 so yeah, that's um that's what we got. Four hours been pumping up quite some time. I think we need a pullback anyway. Mm. What's up, Capricorn? What amazing opportunity today? Yes, amazing opportunities. What up, Alfonso? Yeah, absolutely. Rosenbuds, how you doing, man? Actually, Rosenbuds, Rosenbuds, are you male or female? Male or female? Congratulations to you, by the way. You won a challenge account the other day, didn't you? Dennis Hood is in the house. What up, Dennis Hood? Oh, I'm going to call you Zeb. Hey, is it cool if I call you Zeb? Z-E-B? Z-E-B-A-D-I-A-H. How do you say that? Zeb. 
Zebedai? Zeb Zebedai? Can I call you Zeb? Unless I'm right about Zebedai. <laughs> bink, bink, bink. Dennis Hood is in the house. The OG Scotty C is in the building. What up, Scott? Good morning, bro. New elite member. Let's get it. Hey, shout out to all the elites in the house today. Um, elites are cooking, man. Elites are cooking. Cooking, cooking. Elites are flying in and flying out like crazy. And and you guys ever see the um, the image of like someone going into something and then they come out like this different... Man, that's how I feel like the elites are, man. They go four weeks, eight weeks, and they come out totally different people. It's 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 absolutely incredible to see. The top G's. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you guys um, little badges, so you guys are known as elites in the chat. Yeah, we the chat needs to know who the elites are. Yeah, there's something you could do with YouTube with the badges and all that cool stuff. So I'm going to get some made up. Yeah, but you're an elite mod. L LG. Louis G, what up, Rapid Max? How you doing? How to make a good support and resistance? Well, the price makes that. You know, the candles make the support and resistance. We don't. We just have to uh, find them uh, and respect them you know and be aware of them yeah yeah you know i said this the other day on the asfx live stream and it's like it's so true you know because we all want to take trades don't we i mean that's why we show up here that's why we do these top-down analysis right that's why we we are motivated to come to the desk but you know at the end of the day it's not one of those things that you can force right it's not one of those things where you can like some of you guys are in sales you could pick up the phone today and just pound pound and almost guarantee yourself to get your goal where in trading you know I, and i said it i said it this the other day and i don't think i've ever said it like this but you know the trader needs to wait for price right it's that simple right but listen to this price does not need to wait for the trader right so you can be correct about the direction you could be you got your analysis could be on point and you just may, may not find a doorway in on that given candle or that given day and that's totally fine you don't have to find a doorway in remember every trade you take is a business investment right you're investing into the stock of the next candle the next one or two or three candles right you want to stack the odds in your favor you want to make sure just like you would do any other business investment that you have your due diligence done that you have uh, all all checks you know everything all the boxes checked and um and a plan for that trade you know what I mean? And when you start treating it like that, your life is going to change. I don't care where you are right now. I don't care if you're, you know, broke and you don't got nothing and you don't even think this is going to work for you. It, if you respect the law and you treat it like a business with a systematic approach like I'm talking about here, you will almost basically guarantee yourself success, right? It may not come in your time. It may not come in a week. It may not come in a month. It may not come in six months. Maybe it will. I don't know. Everyone's a little bit different. But I guarantee you, if you play by the laws that govern success here, you will win. You will win over time. So keep this in mind, my friends. Stop playing with it. No time to play games. Yo, what up? The soul's journey. What's good? What's good? Have a doubt in yesterday's gold sales. Activated one minute before 15 minute close. Uh, which one, brother? This one? Yeah, this is the cell I took yesterday. So I waited on that resistance right there and I took an onion play right here. But um is this what you're is this what you're referring to? Yeah, to be honest, uh, uh, Kingston, I wasn't even looking at the 15. I was strictly business on the one hour here. Yeah, I wasn't even looking at the 15. I had set my um, sell stops. and to be, I wasn't at the desk like you see me on every other trade. I was in the kitchen and I was doing, you know, stuff with my kids and stuff. Um, 
but I set it and I wasn't sure when it got activated or anything. So I was uh, just strictly basing this off the one hour time frame that the one hour would come down and at least fill that wick. Yeah. Yep. Flow state, baby. Let's go, AB Mike. Got faked out in the previous one hour, broke the previous lows. Yeah, um, I had um the previous one hour. Wait, which one? Here. Uh, oh, not this one. Okay, some other one. Okay, cool. If you guys if you guys have taken trades and you want to send your charts in for us to take a look at, you guys can um, send your charts here in um, the chart for stream channel and um, we'll take a look at them. Bull bull, what's good, bro? Bull 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 bull. Did we stream yesterday? We did not stream Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, as I uh, was telling you guys throughout last week, we were going to jump on with my buddy Austin on his, uh, he asked me to come in and do like a special kind of stream host uh, for his team. So that was uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, which was yesterday and the day before. And now we're back. We're back like we ain't never left. How much did my headset cost? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. They're they're Apple Air Max, so you just look them up. I'm not too sure. I forget what they cost. Air Max, right? These are called? I think they're called Air Max. I'm assuming they were like probably like 300, 500, somewhere in that area. I don't remember them being like a thousand or anything. Yo, chat, yo, Scott, for real. Hey, if you would have seen the chat over there, chat, chatty chat, if you would have seen their chat, man. We chatting now. We chatting out here. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, what up, Supra? What's good? What's up, AJ? Big Legrand in the house. What up, Legrand? How you feeling? Legrand, you were over there, right? Legrand was over at uh, ASFX. AB Mike was over there. Energy was there. A lot of you guys were there. Appreciate you guys coming, coming out and uh, chilling. Chilling with the boy. What's the name of his channel? It's not, um, it's actually not on YouTube. It's actually like his own network. It's actually really cool. I really like, love what he put together. Options in the house. What up, options? Uh, yeah, 550 or so. That sounds about right. Yeah, they have different colors. I was going to get black, uh, but I got this color. Quake free? Yeah, it was quake free. <laughs> yeah, man. Quake free over there. I was there on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tuesday. Yep. Dope, dope. Um, Jay, I use Windows. Yeah, I have an Alienware computer here. I do. I do have a Mac desktop too, but I mainly I mainly just use these for this computer. You guys remember when I used to stream on my Mac desktop, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Brennan. Yeah, we got you. Got to start earlier. Yeah, I felt like the whole day was gone because we were only there from eight, eight to ten. So you know, jumping on at eight, com as compared to like you know six, 
45, 7 ish. It's a, it's a big difference. I was kind of sitting there. You guys know the Pablo Escobar meme? I was just sitting there, just looking at my charts, looking like Pablo sitting on the bench. <laughs> What's up, Andrew? Good morning, brother. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, options. Yeah. Yeah. I hit the Pablo Escobar meme. <laughs> I was up early today, chat. You ever get up really early? I got up at like four today. Just went and prayed, man, for like an hour. Yeah, just I got such such more clear vision. I f I feel like I was led to um to actually go look at that channel and uh, perform there. I think someone was um, impacted uh, there heavily too. I just have that that feeling in my in my spirit, like someone that wouldn't have been impacted um, was impacted over there. Um, that that watch a stream but i think it also helped me kind of in this from the spiritual realm aspect kind of see like the possibility the uh, poss possibilities of what tte one day could um provide and have bring to the table like multiple coaches multiple traders online type of vibe like i want to do the online thing but i want to do the in-person stuff also so i think it was just an opportunity for um for me in the spiritual realm to kind of get a a little bit more of a like a cleaner vision of where TTE could eventually go as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 minute closure in one minute. Nothing, nothing here for me. Let's go, Wags. Let's go. I thought you always woke up at 4 a.m. Yeah, I would say over the last like two months, it's been like 5 a.m. These kids, man. <laughs> Can't blame them kids. Can't blame the kids. How was yesterday? It was good. Every, everything was, uh, everything went really good. Yeah, we enjoyed it. I enjoyed my time over there. It was, uh, it was mad fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was so cool because uh, some of those guys I really look up to, you know, like uh, Austin and, um, and like guys like James, you know, James Bruce and them. Those are guys I was looking at, to looking towards uh, when I was uh, just start, just beginning trading. They were already killing it. So it was good to have them uh, on the stream and, you know, s messaging me and saying they enjoyed it and all that good stuff. How can you pray for one hour? I ran out of things to say after five minutes. That's because I'm not saying anything. I'm just so grateful, man. I just sit and get drenched in gratitude. Almost like gratitude is just pouring on me from like a waterfall. And I'm just thankful. I've just I have so much to be thankful for in life, gang. Like I have already won. I've already won in the most biggest way ever, and uh, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I could sit in gratitude probably all day. All day long. Like anything from here is just up. Right? Anything at this point is just cherry on the top what's up Hector nice man welcome 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 to I don't know if you've seen us on ASFX but welcome to the YouTube channel <laughs> yeah very rarely when I'm speaking with the Lord am I asking for things I ask for things right because he says ask but it's it's not the majority of the time. Majority of the time, I am sitting there just in awe about 
What a promise keeper our God is. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah, I've already hit it, man. Success for me, when, when me and my wife were broke as a joke, we just wanted to be free. We just wanted to be um, a free couple with no jobs, uh, but time and money. And when our kids were born, we wanted to be at home with them to raise them, and we got it. You know, and so from this point on, it's just, you know, you got the home, you'll get a better home and you got the car, you'll get a better car and you got the clothes, you'll get the better clothes. But at the end of the day, man, we don't need any of that. We've already won at the highest levels. So it's it's so cool. And and now, you know, the only thing to do is to pour into others. And that's why we're here. You know, that's why I show up here day in and day out is because, um, you know, the things that were poured into me early on have absolutely changed my life and have filled my cup to the brim and the only job now is to to pour that out you know to pour it out to others so that's what we're doing yeah one hour is looking good here one hour did move up yeah will what will we do in this four hour zone here Activated. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, daily looking like it uh don't have any strength to come down here, but you never know. You never know. Very curious to see what we do here in this area. Yeah, 30 lows got smoked, eh? took yesterday oh yeah i remember lewis g said you lewis g you took that trade yesterday too right nice yeah i think you said that took yesterday's one hour seller at ny open is that a good buy i think that wasn't that a sell yeah yesterday um 8 15 was the play 8 15 i think it was right here so you got that closure but the only thing about yesterday was we were bullish right so that's where i was kind of looking to see if we can get a range two below there but notice how 8 a.m closed below so yeah you had the you had the salary play but if you wanted to base it off of a closure instead of an impulse entry then that 15 closure was your was your idea there yeah and then 8 15 moved down pretty decently and then if you were holding you know you got that second push there but um, I was looking for a range two below there. We were pretty bullish. I hope it pushes up to pass my funded account. Let's go. Let's get it. Push, push. Start blowing on the on the monitor. Yeah, how'd you guys do this week? I've actually done fairly well this week. I'll be honest, ever since um, April really began, I've, I've really got myself back in the flow state. I had a conversation with a very wealthy trader as well and really, um, really feeling good, man. How'd you guys do this week? Oh, nice. On my way to DR. W. I want to go to DR. Guys, buy German 30, five minute now. All right. All right. Let's go, Melvin. <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> Cookie, you might have to change your name, man. You might give uh, my, you might give Joe Stu uh, some some vibes some temptation vibes oh you dropped gj oh okay rough month 
Well, you know, the good thing about you is you execute, man. And that's your edge. Your edge is in the execute. Like, it, it takes... Yeah, I see you really take advantage of a lot of moves. More, probably more moves than me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I got very, very picky, especially after going through that losing streak there with those six losses. You know, um, naturally you go into like this defense mode, you know, and you kind of simmer, simmer back a little bit and uh, get a little picky, and then you know you build your confidence back up, and that's gonna happen to you guys too. You know, you just the more time you spend in the game, the more you understand, the less you quake. Uh, and the more you really begin to to understand like what this game is so it's all good you know as long as you continue to execute and get back on the horse uh you know you got you got time man you got time time is your edge oh jimmy williams yeah there was a pack runner too right before that right this was so dumb we came up Grabbed the, we I think we, we created a low. All right, I was watching this. We created a low and then we came up, right? We did a pack runner and then we came down. And that's when I was still confused about what was going on up here. We came down, broke the low again, and then went up <laughs> and broke the high again. <laughs> yeah, man, that 30 minute was wild, but the hour was clean. All that happened within this hour candle. And then um, this next one was good. Yeah, this one made a low. I, I waited for it to start making a top wick, and then I had a sell stop. Have we made a video on support and resistance? Um, have we? We made a video. I don't think so. No, I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We got a we got a video on range one, range two. Maybe that could help you. Um, we also have a video. Yeah, I would I would recommend checking out the video we have here. How to tell the story from each time frame. There, that's where we go into support and resistance a lot. This video right here. This guy right here. We draw up a lot of. We talk a lot about support and resistance here. And uh, I'm typically always talking about support and resistance all throughout my teaching teachings. NASDAQ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at NAS here. Uh, let's do a quick uh, top down analysis and see what we got going on. We, we really moved down here yesterday, man. Um, weekly yesterday was a big push there on the weekly. As you can see, nice big push there on the daily time frame. So daily, uh, daily did close bearish. One thing we know though is we closed bearish right at, I'm sorry, right at this um, level of support here. So it doesn't mean that we'll reject there. It just means that there is a support there, right? So we could reject, but below there you have pretty clean range coming down towards uh, what is this like 17? A oh my God, look at that, set one seven one seven one seven. You guys see that? We're coming down towards 17, 17, 17, <laughs> all right? This is the clean range coming down there. So I don't know, man. We closed right at support. We could break the low and move down. But again, we did close that support. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the four hour because if we are going to come down today, looks like we've already kind of created that top wick there. And now we're trying to begin to move bearish here. So let's see what the four hour is showing. Four hour, you got a rejection. So it looks like you came up, tried to kind of fill this wick up here, made an attempt, almost got there, but not quite. We rejected. Now we broke the lows. We've pushed down quite a bit. Um, so we did move down pretty heavy there on the um, on the four hour time frame. But if we're looking at the one hour, as you can see, hey, where's the best place to, to sell, right? The best place to sell is going to be off of a resistance, right? Look at this candle. Strong candle, strong candle, weak candle, weak candle, lows all respecting each other, right? Low, low, low. They're getting higher and higher and higher. So we may be on this descending pepperoni pizza trend. <laughs> We might be moving up now, right? So we'll see how this uh, this one hour candle close if we create support. Uh, 30 minute is looking nasty as can be. You got support here. You got resistance forming right here. You can see the rejections. 15 minute, yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like we're trying to continue down, right? We're trying to continue down, but you're going to need, a, I would say, a new closure now. Um, yeah, you don't want to rush NASDAQ just yet here. Yeah. Naj chewed me up yesterday. <laughs> Left me on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah. Naz don't say sorry, man. That thing just gone. Holy. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Rejection. Yeah, yesterday on goal was so tricky too, right? You see this pack came up. Grab the pack up there on the four hour. Lethal, man. Four hours deadly. <laughs> Yo, we drove too. My entry, we drove so far from my entry. I could have been a millionaire yesterday, chat. Could have made a million. Should have, could have, would have. Man, I would beat myself up for that back in the day. But wow, if I would have just held. It's doing the pepperoni pizza pattern where. <laughs> Gold move down, 160 pips. Yeah, that was nuts. This move, I think it was right here. This one. Yeah, we drove downtown. All right, so again, we are in this range here, right? So we're trying to see, really, really, you're kind of caught up in this, this range right here as we approach NY Open. You know, these two ranges are not the greatest. But 16 minutes left for the open here. 30 minute beginning to reject a little bit. 15 closing, no top wick. Yeah, just gotta wait. Pack runner means? So the pack runner is a play that we have um, kind of spotted after seeing it a bunch of times where like, the way it goes is either a candle has no top wick, right? and then the next one will come to create a top wick and this will happen just honestly like in regular market conditions but then there's the pack runner that we see a lot of times during vol high volume time which there is a wick right there still is a wick and we still go ahead and break that high typically around 8 15 ish and that's when you see the drive down so if you see that around 8 15 most people will kind of void the trade at that point and look if we keep pushing and pushing you know and going up yeah that's that's a different story but if we kind of just be like boink right and then come back down without any real other force moving up then you may have a pack runner on your hand right so that's where you can enter either on the break of let's say the current candles low it's if it's like somewhere over here or the break of that previous low Should we buy or not? I love that question. As a streamer, that's one of the coolest questions. Buy or sell, man. The other, the, my other favorite question is, hey, Nick, I'm in uh, ABC EFG. I'm on a long position. What should I do? Man, I don't know. <laughs> What's the plan, brother? What's your plan? You should plan your trade and then trade your plan. That's what you should do. Not ask a random man. Come on. Buy or sell, dude. <laughs> My fingers just clicked the button. What should I do? Where's green at? Tell 
me TK still snoozing. Brother Joe check. Joe Stu check. The cookie monster. Where the boys at here today? Damn. What time is it? 7.46. Sheesh. <laughs> the cookie monster ain't here yet. What's up, Tamra? What's good? Good morning. Where the cookie monster at? Can you explain when to draw levels based on recent price action versus previous? Uh, yeah, it has a lot. It honestly, has a lot to do with like going from time frame to time frame and really just seeing overall where where it makes the most sense. You know, um, so like a lot of this has to do with the four hour here, right? Because we know we're coming into this four hour zone, whether it's right here or even right here, you begin to fall in this chop. So. Although like this, I would say is the current fresh price. I decided to use this instead, right? Be and because I also see a closure above, closure above. Um, so yeah, so, but the 30 minute now closed back in the range, right? So that's what kept me away there. Uh, but sometimes you're gonna, every trade is gonna be a bit unique. And I would say you wanna find the most like dominant area on the chart and i think in this case it's not really here because you really don't if you look left you don't have anything else here you know outside of these rejections which isn't a good sign for for buys right but over here you have support you have resistance you have a closure above you have a closure above so this area is, is if we're looking just straight at you know the fresh price in front of us here this area is going to be the most solid one to look at right and then if you have a 30 closure back below sometimes that's just going to be what it what is going to keep you out of the actual move there right so once we took these notice how i, was, I said i'm going to have a buy stop there right but once we took those lows out i deleted it and then once we closed below there was no point in me looking back at it now and if this happens it happens like it, it's whatever right so now i just need to wait for this candle to close so i i can get a better read on um on where price is trying to go right if you close weak bullish here you're most likely ny open coming up you're going to fill that wick if you close strong bullish back above or not even back above here but above here like stronger bullish candle you'll most likely move up there so the range is really what's going to tell us hey this is di this is the direction of price and you really want to find the most um most dominant range right that the current condition has to offer you see what happened in dubai what up pm magnifico yeah man my buddies just landed out there it was like they couldn't even get to their hotel yeah man What's up, anti up? Hope you have a blessed and profitable day as well, my friend. Let's get it. <laughs> Mick going to house. Mick go, Mike go. Just got the call from Geico. The price they gave me, psycho. What up, Richard Lewis? Two wins are off stream. Yeah, I took a few. Uh, took a few trades off stream over the past couple of days. Let's uh, let's check them out. Um, yeah, yeah. Last uh, one, two, three, four trades were off stream. Took one one sell yesterday. Took uh, a buy there at. This was after uh, Pal spoke on um on i think that was tuesday yeah tuesday and then um sunday night got two trades off on sunday so yeah you guys see my instagram story right i said ready on your mark get set blast off i couldn't catch that first position 
because there was no bottom wick at all. So I let uh, I let that candle close. I think I let the next candle close too, and then took a buy um, on that next one. <laughs> Were you always religious? I don't can, I don't even think I'm religious right now. I think religion's a scam. I think um, I think religion is man-made and designed to keep you stuck in the matrix. Even Jesus, even Jesus would clean the houses out. You know, the religious leaders are the ones who um, decided that, you know, Jesus couldn't take their their shine. You know what I mean? Their fame. So they they got they tried to get rid of them. Right. So I'm I wouldn't consider myself religious, to be honest. I, I think religion steers a lot of people away from a true relationship. I, I'm, I'm all about relationship. Right. Um, and I think religion a lot of times will will uh, push people away from relationship. And I've seen it happen time and time again. It actually happened to me. It happened to me at a, uh, at a um, earlier time in life, too, where I was like, if these people rep represent God, I don't want nothing to do with God. They were they were evil people, not evil, but they were just they weren't doing the right things. That's for sure. Scotty too hotty. Yeah, it's all about relationship. Relationship. I asked a question the other day. Hey, what was the first two words God said to man? And no one knew the answer. And that just scares me. That scares me. <laughs> Y'all agree? Yep. All right, look at this. Seven minutes. Will we close below? Will we close below or will we close above? Um, let's see. I know the answer now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're 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 called to be fruitful, gang. To be fruitful and multiply, right? And a lot of us are living in lack. A lot of us not only are we living in lack in reality, but we're living in in lack spiritually and mentally, and all in between, right? So you have to you have to begin to understand you are called for more, right? The system is designed to keep you in lack. Will we move down here? Let's see. NY open in five minutes, four minutes. <laughs> the current war starts from religion. Yeah, it all starts. It's all re so many religious uh, wars. religion is a scam god is also um give me more give me more context what do you mean give me some context on, context on that and then maybe we can talk about it we're paving the way out the matrix <laughs> yeah man all right, look at this 15 minute uh, rejection here. Potential resistance being formed. This um, this candle is beginning to flip, break the lows now. One hour still open. This 30 minute candle was a little cuckoo. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. So we'll see. Four hour is rejecting there. That was our goal was really to see how we would react in this zone, in this overall between this white line and this line. And we did, we are beginning to reject. There's still an hour left on this four hour candle though, right? So we not, we need to see how this 30 minutes is going to close here. And uh, we're going to have a better read on where price wants to go.
Yeah, this is the cell I took yesterday right here. But we'll see. Maybe we, we might take a cell here again today. There he is, Joey Stu. <laughs> He's here. Holy! What up, Joe? What up, Sandman? Let's get Arnie. Cookies in the chat. <laughs> we got cookies in the chat. We do a little cookie. <laughs> yeah, you can't do the cookies without the milk chat. Yo, what up, Yanosh? <laughs> the cookies. Joe Stu call. Joe Stu is in the building. <laughs> John Stu check. Where's John at? Johnny Stu check. Cookies and milk. <laughs> oh, man. What's good, Sam, man? Doing good, bro. Doing good. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Anthony Fernandez in the house. Yo, bro. How you doing? Hey, yo, Ant. My guy. How you doing? How you doing? Yo, how's the how's New York, man? Got to come back for a visit soon. All right, 34 seconds. Hopefully we don't close in a no bottom wick here. Can we pull back a little bit? Anthony W Oh, 10 seconds here. Can we get a wick? Can we get a wick? Can we pull back? Don't give us a cheap wick either. All right, we're getting a cheap wick here. Yeah, we got a cheap wick. All right, let's see if we get a if we end up getting a top wick on this candle and then I will have a sell stop here. Um, I am new. Is how you doing from friends? Nah, how you doing is uh this dude. How you doing? Little mo mozzarella. What would my stops be? My stops would have to be above that previous candle high up there. So I, I'm trying to see if we can get a steeper top wick to maybe be able to kind of use um smaller stops here. 
but we would need to see a wick towards like, I would say, what is this? Let me go back to this other chart here. Yeah, like somewhere back in this range. We have no bottom wick on that candle yet. Yeah, you, yeah, 820 cells. Yeah, that could be, that could work out too. So no trade yet, but we did get a we did get a 30 closure below. The one hour did close bearish as well here. The four hour is beginning to reject, but the four hour is still still bullish, right? So we're still not on the clear there on the four hour. But the one hour did did make a resistance. 30 minute also did kind of grab this pack up here, create this steep high, and uh, 15 minute also created a resistance. So. We will see. We didn't get any bottom wick on that current candle. It would have been nice to get that bottom wick, but that's that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, chat. I'm gonna have a sell stop here on this um, on the break of that previous candle low. Yeah, it looks pretty good if we can break the lows there. One hour close bearish. Like I said, the only the only uh, thing that's not on our side here is the four hour, but uh, stops are gonna be above that four hour high, so we'd have to re-break the high there on the four hour in order and break this low and then re-break the high. So there's gonna be a lower chance of that happening. Um, so yeah, can have a sell stop here. So stop, make sure I got stop. <laughs> All right, we're good. Your name means good job in Persian? Oh, nice. Good job. Joey from Friends says it a lot, does he? I never, I never watch Friends, ever. Yeah, never watch Friends. Uh, yep. Um, probably gonna delete this here. Yeah, we might just wait for news. 15 highs have been smoked. 30 minute, we came right up to it. One hour. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably delete this for now. Yeah, worst case, sales are below here. Yeah, you may get a push down with news um, if we do move in this diet, especially if we respect that high right there. Yeah, I'm going to delete them for right now. Yeah, we'll add them back. If, if, if we get, um, if we respect these highs and continue, keep remaining below then we can probably add these back on the price of pepperoni is yeah hey chat give me one minute i'm gonna go grab some more water and i'll be right back
Yeah, I completely forgot to send the zoom link out. Yo, Stephen B. Stephen B. Wow, is this going to be a one hour celery, even though we closed back below? I think so. What's good, Stephen B? What up, Ben Teasy? <laughs> hey, Nick, how's your family? Oh, great, man. Monday and Tuesday was awesome. Wednesday was awesome, too. Yeah, how you doing, my friend? Four hour back in this area here. Sheesh. <laughs> Naz still working here for NY Open. Nothing yet. <laughs> Secure. Secure means W. Secure. Wait, that's in the Zoom link out? Yeah. All right, we good. Let me just move the chat over here, too. What's up, Zoomers? My bad. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, John's here. John Stewart. Joe Stu's coming on Zoom today. <laughs> what up, John? Yo, yo, good morning, brother. It's good. Good morning. Up. Morning, man. How you doing? How you doing? I am fantastic, my friend. You? Oh, my God. Amazing, dude. Great for another day. Praise Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, man. That's Gonna read a word. little bit of candlesticks. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Have you taken any uh, yep. trades yet today? Uh, no, I had, 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 buy stops, had buy stops at 7 a.m., deleted them, um, and that's it. Nice. And yeah, I'm waiting was, on news now. I was looking at those buys, too, at 7. Yeah. Yeah, we, we came down, broke the 30 lows, so I just deleted. Yeah, same. Same and then, stuff. Uh, just, like, let me just wait it on news now. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yo, what's good, chat? What's poppin'? John's back. John was with me, but he couldn't read the chat the last two days. Yo, facts. It's felt like I was distant from the chat for, for this whole week. But, hey, it's good, good to be back. Good to see y'all y'all name again. And just another day, right? Another day, another opportunity to be great, to be consistent, disciplined, and patient with our trade and edge, right? And hey, if we focus on just taking wins every day, they're gonna compound, right? And the compound, <clears throat> the compound effect's gonna show. So let's just focus on taking the win of the day, which is trading our edge. But good to be back. Facts. See if we can get a trade of the day on the board. All we're looking for is a trade of the day. Right, a trade of the day, like, like one of these. If you guys come to our, we have a free Discord for those of you guys that aren't in it, and this is where we post almost all of our trades, and we break them down. Shout out to Scott. Scott really does a good job at detailing this. He does a really good job at setting you up to understand where this trade is coming from, and then just, I mean, detail on detail on detail. So if you guys want to come and learn, learn about how we approach these positions what we look for in these positions, what we look for in terms of setups, in terms of entries, in terms of higher time frame biases, in terms of like things that maybe the news kind of spilled out. Scott's going to set you up and then he's, so you can understand and then he's going to explain everything from point to point to point all up until our entry and our closure. So you guys got to come check this out. Uh, Raja had a channel like this in his Slack group back in the day and I would come in there and I would study that, that room. 
and I would watch those trades. I would see why they took the trades, what they were looking for, what closures they were, lo were looking for, why they were looking for them, where their entry was, why their entry was there. Uh, this is the work. You know, this is the work. Coming up to just the live streams every day, it's going to help you a lot. But there's, you know, everyone's doing that, right? What's going to separate you from everyone else? That's the big question, right? Will you do the extra work that it's going to take in order to push push the bar forward? Yes. Facts. Right, Joe Stu? Big facts. Right, John? Right, John Stu? Yeah, yeah. Correct. 100%. Everyone Shout puts in the Scott. work. Word. Everyone puts in the work. Who's going to put in the extra work? That's the question. That's what really separates one from the other. That's what separates the good from the great. And a lot of people are going to let a good life keep them back from living a great life. Don't let that be you. Yeah, Q, Q Bank said something really good. I was listening to like a Q tip from him. And it was like he was talking about being passionate about trading. Like you got to become obsessed with this in a way. Like you got to become obsessed with learning this, learning this thing right learning the craft of it and putting in the work right putting countless hours in watching simulations maybe doing some back testing studying your trades right it's that extra work that's gonna count and matter mm -hmm. most yes sir coming coming a little bit earlier staying a little bit later you know things like that yep yep yeah become obsessed if you're not obsessed become obsessed remember understand your why and your why should drive you to become obsessed. Honestly, if your why is strong enough, you'll become obsessed. I always listen. I always like listening to um. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um. Grant Cardone. Be obsessed or be average. He says. He wrote a great he, book on it too. That's facts. Oh, nice, Scott. <laughs> Yo, good morning, Scott. Yeah, shout out Scott for trade of the day. Yeah, appreciate you, Those man. Those are fire. Yep. Hey, if you guys aren't subscribed to our newsletter also, subscribe to our newsletter. Just come to the website, come all the way down, and then it's right here. Just put your email in. We're, we're going to keep you up to date with like our trades of the week, uh, what's going on in the community, people that are killing it, people that are passing challenges or getting payouts or – new elite people, new elite members that are having a lot of success. So you can, um, you can subscribe to our newsletter here and, uh, stay up to date with us. Yeah. 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 What's up, Susanna? What's good? What's good? What up, Susanna? <laughs> top G. <laughs> Scott's a top G. Oh, oh, not yeah. We're working on a link to just share the newsletter. Just um, it might take another day or two. Yeah, we have the website link, but uh, I wanna. I'm trying to get it so we could just send, just a link. So it just has like this right here. Yeah. Hold you back up, eh? Sheesh. Goldie back up. Can you explain why you intended on selling gold um, now? I'm asking because of previous 30 closes. Yeah, so the reason I'm, I was intending on selling gold, right, is because we came, we had a plan re really to see what would happen in this zone right here, right? So we know that the daily's bearish, right? So if the daily candle's bearish here, um, right we would expect that the, the the potential for the next candle to come up make a top wick and then drive down is pretty high right so this top wick right here has been created right and the way this top wick is created is through these this bullish move up here right so now as we come into this yellow box we want to see hey this is a four hour rejection zone can this zone right here lead and this wick right here become this wick over here on the four hour top on the top wick here right for price to start to move down so we're looking to anticipate that we're looking for some sort of a clue some sort of a confirmation that maybe just maybe that idea can actually make sense and play out 
So how will you see that, right? What will lead to this? What will the lower time frame kind of reveal to you that this may be the top wick? It'll it'll show you a resistance, right? So what do you see right here? You see how that resist? Forget about this candle, current candle for now. Forget about that one, right? That didn't happen yet. So what do we see here? We see a resistance form now, right? So now we're saying, okay, look, this high right here, let me use a different color. Could this high be this high for us to anticipate now the daily candle to move down and also the next one hour candle to move down, right? During high times of volume to go ahead and fill that wick right there. So that's the idea behind why we had potential sells. Now price is moving up, right? So now price is showing something different to us. So we have to now roll with that new clue and that's why we deleted it. And now we're just going to say, hey, look, things don't add up, right? They're not quite making total sense right now. We need to see another candle close. So that's what we're waiting for. And then we're obviously also now going to be sitting tight and waiting on news, right? So we can now we get more clues due to news coming in and giving us uh, numbers and probably better direction here. Definitely. We'll also have a four hour closure too. So a lot more information after news come in. Yep. Yeah. And as well as like, you don't got to be perfect in trading, right? You just have to be fluent. So if we were looking at that 30 minute time frame, right, we close form and resistance, but then that, that next candle after the, the resistance created candle broke that previous candle wick, right? It tried going up there, AK the pack runner, it tried going up there, but then it closed back into the bear direction, right? In a bearish direction. So logically speaking with a conversation with the markets, right? We tried going up there, the candles have tried and now they have closed back in this direction, back in the bearish direction, right? So there would be a high chance we go bearish from there, right? As well as the daily time frame. So, yeah. And then you also mentioned this candle having very little to no wick. And I do agree with that. But um, one of my things over the last really three weeks has been to execute, right? To uh, get back on the gas and begin to execute more. So when I see that wick, I know that there is something there. And if, if all those signs add up, I'm willing to take my um, I'm willing to put risk on the break of that low. Um, anticipating that the next candle will move down during high volume, right? But we'd have to break that low. So we haven't broken that low. We pushed all the way up. So that's why we deleted it. And now, you know, I think if you remain below here, everything is golden. But, um, but yeah, I'm also in a execution mode right now. So trying to execute as much as possible when the ideas that I want show up. So um, I won't let this little wick keep me out now if there was no wick yeah but i won't let the little wick keep me out here um if we respected that high and broke it i'd be in there because and i would just i would label that as a a condition right a uh, a red flag condition meaning that there's a little bit off there's a little bit of edge off on this idea but it's still there right so i won't let it keep me out but i will um consider it when i'm sizing up or putting size on Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense? Gold's crazy here, man. Two pack runners, bunch of wild, wild west ca candles here. Yeah, man. I'm not going to lie. Gold's definitely have been tricky this week. Damn, that's for damn sure. Yeah, gold was very tough yesterday too, chat. So if you didn't pull anything off yesterday, it was a tough day there. Every day, um, every day we've had great ideas, but just, um, weren't able to get setups or entries, you know, till uh, either later on in the session or I don't think Tuesday I took a trade at all or, uh, not Tuesday, uh, Monday. Yeah. No trade Monday. This, this was Sunday night and then this was Tuesday, right? Yesterday was the 17th. Yeah. So this was Tuesday and Wednesday. So I didn't, I didn't take a trade Monday, but uh, I am getting reps in, right? As, as I've mentioned to you guys, my goal here is uh, throughout this month to step back on the execution. Um, and you know, maybe you didn't understand why, why I was slowing down. Right. And cause you've, maybe you've never taken like these, 
um, or maybe you just haven't gone on a really hot streak and then hit this, right? You got to calm down a little bit, right? Calm down, relax, get a little picky, right? Get back into the swing. And then that's what I've been doing here in April is just really working on execution. So I think uh, this week it's, we've got, I've got four trades in. So for me in my two week evaluation currently right now, I've got, I've got some gold, gold stars there. Oh yeah, bro. We get paid to execute, y'all. Let's get it. Some of y'all take six losses a day, every day. But I'm talking about the ones who, you know, you've got, you, you've got your, you're running your system, right? And then your system runs into those losses. Um, or just you run into them within your system. <laughs> Clean expl explanation? Okay, cool. Yo, good morning, you know, sh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah no gold is definitely tricky this week, for sure. Yeah, no, sh gold the trickster. You're not the only one, bro. Me and you. <laughs> All right, six minutes here for a thirty close. The fifteen, um, fifteen close decent. You see how there's a uh, no bottom wick there? I wonder if we actually get this pack and then break the high for news. That might be something to look for. But every day is class, man. Every day. Chat, every we, day. I'm a student of life. Student of life. Yes, sir. That guy TK in a house. What up, TK? Good, TK. TK, TK, TK. Wags, my brother in the chat. What's good, Wags? Nine wins this month, no loss. Loving it to execute on the playbook. Nice, nice. Great job. Great job. I'm right there with you. I think I took one loss here this month. Nice uh, job, A. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, great job. Great job. See, bro, that's how you get paid to execute. You know what's so Nine funny? Wins. Yesterday, remember, John? We um Yesterday, we... We talk about this 75% win rate, right? And yesterday, so so randomly too, because we were talking about letting letting price, um, you know, letting uh, the edge play out, letting probabilities play your out, edge. letting let you know, really not not really looking left or right until you've gathered quite a bit of data, like 20 pit, 20 trades, you know, 30 trades to 50 trades to 100 trades, and Got I was it. just like super random, man. I was like, why don't we go back and count? The last 20 trades we took. We go back and count the last 20. We find the win rate. What was it? <laughs> it was 75%. <laughs> it, was, it was legit. I was like... <laughs> 75% on the, on the nose. <clears throat> Crazy. Yeah, that was too funny. Yeah. And if it's not playing I was like, hold out, on. Let me, let me calculate this real quick. Yeah. Yep, 75% is exactly where we want to be. Nice. Yep. And and look, if it's not playing out on the on the twenty trades, look to the fifth. Or if it's not playing out on the fifty trades, you just got to give it more time, right? If if it's not playing out yet, you just got to give it a little bit more time and just keep continue to execute. Yeah, and also if the numbers aren't adding up really in those twenty to fifty trades, like also really look back at those trades that you took and really ask yourself, okay, am I really following my technical system that's supposed to give me this percentage win rate, right? Yeah, and see. If see if you're doing it right or not right you got you got data now because you got the 20 50 trades so you got data now to look on and to back yourself up with yeah so there's definitely going to be something to learn from it and if yeah, not just keep fun. running it up yep yep and to be honest the more we execute the more our win rate goes up like in 2023 i think we had closer to like an 80 percent win rate right so we just need more execution right just more execution Not we. There's no we. My bad. You guys, y'all are good doing great. I'm sure you guys are executing flawlessly, doing perfect job, killing it. It's me. You know, you got this. You're just kind of in a way we're here together, but I'm just kind of sharing my thoughts on my journey, you know, as a trader. Hey, Nick, the prop firm that you recommend, they don't have any assistance to help for support. If you need, I don't know what's going on. TTE, bro. They have an incredible support system. 
um, on there. I think it's on their website. And um, if you guys have any uh, issues, just let me know. Let me know the issue and I'll get a handle for you. Yeah, there's we also added a um, we added a top one. Um, we added a top one uh, channel here in the discord. So if you guys have any whether it be good or bad, we want to we want you guys to post in here. We're going to try and actually um, give one of their customer service reps the web hook to this channel. So it can almost be like a direct line for us. So we're working on that right now. But uh, but yeah, if you got any success stories or you have any concerns, uh, put them in that channel and then we'll get to it. Yeah, if it's something major, just let me know what it is. Reach out to me and, and we'll uh, we'll get it taken care of. We'll bring it to court. <laughs> What's up, NG David? How you doing? Rapid Max in the house. What's What's the formula for calculating percentage? Um, brother, just go on Google or Yandex and look up winning percentage calculator, and you'll get a link to it. So, John. The daily's bullish. The daily's uh, bearish. The four hours bullish, right? Probably like bullish. we were talking about this yesterday. Um, really anticipating that maybe on these days, this is where you know how we like will typically have that range, right? So we'll have like, yeah. oh, my bet. We'll have a. Oh, there we go. We'll kind of have like range, right? So most days, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have, let's say, you know, let's say the the if the daily's bullish, or let's just say buys above here, sells below here. But when the daily's bullish and the four hours bearish, maybe those are days where where we don't need. So if the daily are, let's say the daily and the four hour are bullish here today, right? So what are we gonna look? What, where are we gonna be looking for range two? Right, daily's daily's bullish, four hours bullish. Where do we look for range twos? Range two buys or range two sells? Range are you two talking sells. to me again? Yeah. Range two sells, right? Yes, sir. Right? But daily and fire bullish. Yes, correct. So we're gonna look for range two sells. And look, if the daily and the and the four hour are both uh hanging out together and they're both bearish, then we're gonna look for range two buys. Yep. Simple. But when the daily and the four hour are speaking a different language, then I think chat that that could be a lot of days where the range two won't play out right where we can void the range two and we can take a buy based off of what we're seeing on the daily obviously things have to make sense playbook setups all that but we can take a buy and not need that range to buy or we can vice versa right take a sell and not need that range to sell so that's something we're going to continue looking into and seeing how it plays out but let's um let's see how news comes out here so another rejection to the top side Oh, yeah, and we close below that I resistance. See, hey. I see always in the chat. I see always. Oh, that must mean Damn someone's here. Hey, you team. Oh, Stan was good. Oh, <laughs> where is he though? Damn I don't the see him. There he is, Sam Capital. There he is. What's good? What's good? Oi. Oi. Always in the chat. Bing, 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 bing. Oi, oi. Leader juicer. Leader juicer. <laughs> hey, some of you guys, y'all don't know where the, all the TTE slang came from Sam Capital. <laughs> Yo, every single word. <laughs> juicer. Oh, man. I wish some of you guys were here for those days. So I know some of you guys are new. Motion. Motion. <laughs> Yo, Sam started the motion, man. Check out motion right now for Sam Capital. Sam's a G. Juice. Let's get it. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Oi. Boys in the chat. Banks in the chat. Let's get it. Yeah, Jeez. this is the original Don Don. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Let's Sam's go. the original Don Dada. The original, original Don Dada. Yo, Sam's got me fired up. <laughs> B 
people trying to get their comments in through all these oys. Oi! <laughs> Yeah, if you're trying always to, in the chat, always in the chat. <laughs> Don't worry, just let the just wait for the calm, the calm. You know, the, the chat will calm down in just a few moments. Probably, it's like the candles to close. Whenever I see that, I think of like a standing ovation. You have a standing ovation for Sam Capital. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, man. Whenever I have to like wait for something, I just think about waiting for candles to close. <laughs> Whenever I think about my six pack coming in, I'm like, just need, just need another candle to close. That's it. Just got a little bit, do a little bit more work. Back. Oh, the Don's in the house. The original. I'm the original Don Dada. Hey. Yes, sir. He's in there. I'm captain. Hey, G4 traits. Let's go. Free Sam. Free Sam. Is, is Sam here? Sorry, Sam's in his doom. Oh. Oh. And the man. I'm hype. <laughs> I'm waiting for this. Sam check. Sam check. He's here. Let's ask him to unmute if he would give us the honor and privilege. Sam oh, Capital. Hey. <laughs> hey. What it is, the oh, dude, John hey. Stu. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's oh, the man. Word. He's back. He's back. I, guys, bro, I miss you guys so much, bro. bro. Chad, I miss you guys so much, bro. too, bro. Bro. Thanks, bro. I missed you too, man. I hope everyone's been so good. Bro. Don't ever do this to us again, Sam Capital. Thanks. Never. What's <laughs> the good word, nah, G? This was being a student of life. Student of life. That's really all it was. I dig What's it. the good word? He's the good word. Amen. 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 Um, Sam up here leave. preaching. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Um, how we how we doing? We got motion. It's getting nice hey, and bro. warm up in PA, bro. I'm already nice. sweating. I it's bet. Like, hey, there we go. Heard it was like 70 yesterday. Bro, yesterday we had a tornado warning, too. Oh, damn. I was like, what's going on, bro? For real? <laughs> Trying to suck me up and shoot me out the top. <laughs> Go on. Put you through that Hold vicious up. cycle Crazy. that traders go through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spin them around. Strategy hopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing, chat. I become ICT yeah. for two... For one month. Sam was psych, out here psych, testing psych. new strategies. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, nah. So the weather's getting nice up there. Yeah, it's starting to get decent. Oh, man, nice. I ain't gonna trust no test no new strategies, bro. <laughs> oh, Come on, Come on Jack. Bro. You crazy? Me. Come on now. Come on now. We talking Sam Capital. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, you guys have been killing it though. Like I've been seeing things like uh, every once in a while, like on the gram, whenever you post stuff, Nick, John, oh, yeah. you too. Love seeing the the stuff that you post and the gems. Appreciate you, man. All, bro, I see Scott's back up at the uh, doing the breakdowns and everything. I every know day. the best. Oh, bro. There, man. Yeah, shout out to Scott. Missing shout out to that. Scott. Oh, shout out Scott. <laughs> yeah, Scott. I've been trading ten second time frame. <laughs> <Ten second games. laughs> Sam's been working on a yeah. strategy on that 10 second time frame over the last couple <laughs> months, guys. He's going to show it to you today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Now, I'm glad winter's almost over. It's like it's cranking over here now, bro. Like 90 almost every day. Bro, I can only imagine, like, plus, like, all the rain and everything that we've seen over the last couple of days. What's it been like down there? Crazy? Nah, it hasn't rained at all. Honestly, awesome. nah. Raining Never seasons rain. in the summer. My wow. mom came to visit and it rained like the first two days she was here, and then we haven't seen rain since. Yeah. The That's founding awesome. fathers are all here. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> we're gonna eat around. We're the, That's we're the three best friends that anyone could have. Anyone could have. <laughs> anyone could have. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. That's hilarious. Give me PTSD. Someone just movie, someone uh, used to sing that to me. Hangover. When I was mad young. Hangover. Oh, that's probably what. Yeah. That's not over. <laughs> The three amigos are back. <laughs> the Crumble Brothers. <laughs> Crumble Brothers. <laughs> Y'all still on those cookies? Yo, they be, they be throwing to get cookies off. cookies at Joe <laughs> in the chat off, now, John. bro. <laughs> John's hooked. Joe comes in, they just start throwing cookies at this dude now. Yo, facts. <laughs> Joe's dude is in the detox center right now. And then <laughs> I'm boy, next. gotta eat. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, He's gotta eat. He's getting calories, bro. There's some protein Yo, in facts. them cookies, right? Hell yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> almost almost as much as sugar taking a week off the nah. menu sucks 
<laughs> He's gonna go through withdrawal, Joe. No. Yeah, facts. That's funny. Joe, Joe, we were on the phone it's the other day. Break. Joe goes, "Good news, everyone." I'm like, "Oh, we're like." <laughs> He's like, "Crumble cookie, the menu sucks this week." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. We don't have to go over there, man. We don't have to waste our time. What's it gonna be, Joe? Cold what? stone? Cold stone? X. Yo, I, I went to them there. They, they start dancing and doing crazy hey, stuff. Hey, hey! I went to Cold Stone. Yo. They put a show on, bro. I I said, yo, give Cold me Stone. a large vanilla cup with cookie dough, brownies, and Kit Kat. Triple everything. This guy, <laughs> yo, I made this dude dance, bro. <laughs> yo, we caught the attention said, of the whole spot, dude. It was nuts. He said, um. Excuse me, sir. The normal serving for a Kit Kat is four <laughs> Kit Kats. Are you sure you want triple the amount? <laughs> I said triple, bro. Did I stutter? Did I stutter? Dan said twelve stutter? Kit Kats. Oh <laughs> man. Oh yeah. That's a that's a cheat meal right there, man. That's a cheat snack. Dan, said, no, I'm gonna say it right now. Cold Stone's the best ice cream spot. I said bro, triple down. it up. <laughs> yeah, Cold yeah, Stone nah. is good. I like Cold Stone. Bring out the whole like topping. Ben and Jerry's it. chunky monkey. Oh, oh yeah, Ben and Gerald's. Ben and Jerry's. No, you like oh, that. Wait. I sent you. Remember, I was in Walmart, Sam, and I sent you a picture of that like a couple months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't. That, that was. I think that was like a month ago. Yeah. That's funny. Bro. That's funny. Yeah. Whenever <laughs> I see that, I think of you now. Damn, I always I've... love it when Nick uses that as the example. That's so funny to me. <laughs> oh, the chunky monkey. You guys chunky are monkey ice cream. You literally <laughs> sitting there, breaking all your disciplines. Like, come on, man. That's the Breaking all the disciplines. Damn. It's true though. Let it be uh bring out the whole ice cream. Yeah, no, that thing was crazy, bro. Crazy. Triple everything. Every bite was like magic. There was there was <laughs> Kit Kats in every bite. Every bite. There's just chunks of Kit Kat I everywhere like Kit -Kat. in that thing. I mean I don't really eat them much, but they're good. Yeah, I don't eat them that much either, but I I tried them in vanilla ice cream, cold. <laughs> Stop yeah, playing. That's cold. I like putting gummy worms in the freezer, bro. <laughs> really? Hey, people get uh people get gummy worms over there. They get gummy worms yeah. in their ice cream. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they have that as one that of the top ones. <laughs> <laughs> the worms. They put the Oreos in. That's that's classic. The dirt pudding. What up, George TK? BM hates Kit Kat. Oh. Let's leave this celery play for the TTE crew here today. Don't say anything. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yo, ah. Sandman, what's good, Sandman? Break the eyes. Yo. Oh, jinx it. <laughs> Pia Magnifico Magnus. <laughs> what up, what up? Sam, is morning, that you? That's him. It, it's me indeed. <laughs> nah, it's like. It's mask. not AI, don't worry. <laughs> it's like Scooby Doo Mask. <laughs> it's Joe <laughs> Stu over <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joe. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> <laughs> No. Green. <laughs> green. Yo. Greener. Imagine it was green. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that'd be crazy. Green. How you doing? Yo, okay. greenery in the chat. What's good, green? Yeah, you don't. Yeah, we don't like celery. We don't like celery. That's That should just be called an impulse trade. Should we call this the booby trap? I like I like that name, too. <laughs> We were, remember we were originally going to call this one the pack runner, but we decided to stick with celery. Or the salary. Remember we were going to call it the salary play? The salary. It's yeah. the Quaker catcher. Switch it up. <laughs> it gets the Quakers entered in. <laughs> yeah, well. Yo, Bobo, you're going to be running for a minute, dude, trying to burn those calories off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I might still be trying to burn those off. That was like, how, how long ago was that now? That was about a month ago. About a month ago, you just gotta be consistent with your uh, with your I gym. Just, I just to go to the gym every day. Diet. <laughs> and diet. Like yeah. I just go seven days a week. That way, if you're cons, yeah. yeah. Quaker catcher. BRB. Quaker breaker. I like that. You know. Quaker. <laughs> Quaker breaker. 
Magnus Clink, he's a simple man. He just goes to the gym every day. And it's S Toy BN. Very good. Man, if that's all you do. If you're facts, man. If you're focused on the non-negotiables, like eating clean and working out, like you do that, you compound that, right? And do a majority of the time. You'll be chilling, right? To have one every once in a while the nice little treat. You know, don't really uh stress it. Brush it off. Yeah. Yeah, go out there and stress your body and put some stress on. Stress is good, right? Because whenever there's no stress in your body, you know, you're chilling. You're not really developing any new cells or more cells, right? But whenever you're out there stressing your body out or your mind or anything, right? Your, your body's sitting there like saying like, hey, like, you know, we're under fire right now, bro. We got to do something to, to prevent this, to know, keep our energy at max. So, yeah. Hell yeah. It's like, go a, out like there and make some new cells. Yeah. Facts, 100%. keeps you alive longer for and healthier and happier 100 percent. yeah joe's too yeah we do we we actually eat super clean chat we ain't out here eating crumble cookie every day <laughs> you know word it's just like that's the one vice so that's what yeah. the exciting thing is to talk about exactly everyone else talking about yo we about to get trash on on saturday <laughs> you coming to the you sliding boy <laughs> nah, not, not us, bro. Not us. Yeah, nah, facts, man. Yeah, chat. You guys do know we're over exaggerating a little bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Stu's really not at Crumble at 9 30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do a little trolling. We do. That's we our do. dopamine. We do like to troll. <laughs> we like to troll. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Little trolling. I believe John, but not Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not there at 9.30. 9.45. He wouldn't stoop that low at 9.30. That's 30 minutes before they open. 15 minutes. He cut helps it. him unload the truck. <laughs> I got you. I'll work for free. You got a couple extra cookies back there, right? <laughs> yeah, you got a cookie for me? You can slide me. <laughs> you guys need an extra hand? Now you can't play with Joe Stu. He'll probably own a uh, Crumble franchise one day, bro. Right? He'll be eating Crumble for free. He'll be sitting uh, on. Yeah, now who's laughing? Bro? Yeah. <laughs> He'll make be sitting on a make pile, bank of, off it. pile of Crumble cookies. Just throwing <laughs> money in the air. <laughs> on his new mu music video with braids. Hey, chat. Joe Stu had <laughs> braids at one point. Man grew his hair out. Well, actually, we both did. He did the braids. I didn't. Man had straight up corn rolls in his head. Yeah, Joe, you gotta go back to that, dude. That Word. was that was a sick era of you. Where Joe? What are you, what are you doing, Joe? He had aura. What's up, Anthony? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what up, lights fire? Around. Lights fire. Um, is my soundboard digital? Uh, yes, 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 yes. The soundboard. <laughs> Will it be time today? Time for the what? The soundboard. Yeah. Time for soundboard. Time for Bruce Buffer. Get it. It's time to bring out the whole ocean. Time to bring out the whole ocean. <laughs> Yo, TK, next time you pull up to Florida, we'll, uh, we'll stop at Crumble for you. <laughs> hey, yeah, TK, when you pull up. Yeah, Sam, when you pull up too, we're going to stop, stop yeah, there. Word. Damn, word. imagine if they came like one one comes one week the next comes the next week we'll be having crumble right we'll be go, going crazy over crumble cuckoo over you crumble get to go for two weeks in a row <laughs> hey. cuckoo for cookie we had we had we had visitors yeah nah, nah. damn trolla why you got to tell me that damn oh man that's the worst <laughs> yeah chala how you been, Chala? You're probably one of those guys that cuts your nails really low. Who's like that? Hey, chill, man. Chill with that. Sam, you do that? I think Sam's guilty of doing that, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe. I, like, I got a knife here. I use this to cut my cuticles back. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you got yeah. a knife on the desk for cutting <laughs> cubicles, you definitely got a short fingernail. I do. <laughs> I don't know why. I always just like see them, and it looks like a fat lump of skin at the top of my finger, and I just yeah. want to cut it off. And I just Sheesh. 
Sheesh, I go gentle with them, man. <laughs> <laughs> not on me, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, Chala, my man. My go... fingers look fat, bro. That's like kind of the worst when you're trying to like open some or like grip some, and your fingernails are so like <laughs> like short. It's I ain't with it. Bro, if I cut my fingernail too far, I, I feel that. Like, everything I would grab and hold is, like, that extra pressure, like, on your the tip of your finger oh, at that word, point. Oh, word, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't, like, do, the, like, my fingernails. Oh, okay. Just, like, that skin at the top, like, right here. I like to cut the Oh, no. <laughs> probably kind of tell, like, I like to. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> just nibble, <laughs> just nibble finger, on them. <laughs> nah, you gotta get the knife. <laughs> You're like, screw the nibbling. I'm getting a knife here. Yeah, you gotta get a nice clean. Nah, cause if you if you nibble on them and chew on them, then you don't get a, like a clean cut, and it still looks <laughs> ugly. And then you gotta keep going. Damn. And it's a never-ending process. So Sheesh. I got Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> nah, I'm trolling, bro. What's up, Jason? Yeah, gold pushing up here. Four hour is not rejecting this area here. We did reject, right? We rejected for uh, like an hour candle, but that was about it. Ended up pushing through. You got 11 minutes left on this candle here, chat. Not much happening, though. Just wait on it. Look at the 15 minute. Just no real move or anything. Just wait on it. Hey, man. I'm, I'm willing to follow price action today, but I really want price action to go down. <laughs> oh, look at NASDAQ trying lies. to break below. Not yet. Not yet. What's up, Jason? How you doing, man? Guitar OGH in the house. Boy, we got guitar mode. I gotta hear it. I haven't heard it. Oh, sh This dude playing the guitar like the Rents dude, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he said, I gotta put on a show right now. <laughs> he said, how much y'all paying? Oh wow, yeah, I was looking at look, this is where we came up with the pack runner chat. Some of my soundboard stuff is in um Sam's Look at that. Pack runner. Oh, yeah. Pack runner. Hey yo. Yeah, look, you're seeing it right now in the chart. Crazy. Even though I wouldn't enter that. Would yeah, there's a pack right there. Right up there. Yo. Something we noticed. Hey, we do a little bit. Yeah, that's brother starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> We do a little bit of listening to our data. Something slight. <laughs> Guitar mode, yeah. Yeah, we should get more volume on the next four hour candle. I mean, the four hour candles have been juicing up here, looking like really, really good. Bullish move up. Uh, will we reject, you know? So we didn't reject the bottom right but will we reject the top now that's the question because if you're stuck in this range here you may you know you can go up or down so we're gonna have to wait on lower time frames to give us those ideas um depending on how we close here price action looks good though today should be able to get a trade in yeah oh nice you're new here jason awesome man welcome welcome to the channel uh, willing to take input from the chat members yes of course yeah if you have any questions or input questions comments concerns feel free to type them in the chat what up Ali Reza how you doing Ali Reza hey how you doing Ali Reza hey. man Yo, Ali how Reza, was that Reza. though the ASFX thing that's fine. oh it was pretty uh, fun I think it, for me personally, it was just sick to see you get up there and do that, bro. Just because like, you know, like, like you talk about with, uh, in the beginning, like awesome with someone you look up to and then bro, you just get on there and killed it. So yeah. that, was, that was sick, bro. That was yeah. Sick yeah. I think that was the coolest part for me is just kind of being asked to do it, you know, just being asked to do it. And mm -hmm. it was a, it was an honor, you know, to like, like you said, you know, those guys are guys I looked up to for so long. So you know, being able to kind of make a name, a little bit of a name here, get recognized by some of these guys. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. And you stayed yourself the whole time, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was fun. Yeah, dope. Fire. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, Chad, the, the the way you win in life is you just you got to really figure out who God called you to be and then live that, man. Like just being you is going to get you so much further than trying to be somebody you're not or, you know, do something you're not really designed or called to do. Um, if you just follow your own heart, man, follow your pursuits that God placed in your heart, you're going to crush life. You know, God said, hey, I'll. I'll, I'll bless your, I'll bless it, right? I'll bless the land I've given you. And I believe he's given me this land and I believe it's blessed and it's blessed to be able to impact lives and do all that. So, um, yeah, it was cool to go over there and kind of share, share my heart a little bit. And, uh, yeah, back here now, back to business. Yeah, man, if you just be the best version of you, your life is going to be great. You're going to be doing very good. Gary breakfast said there's, he said, you know what's higher? You know what frequency is higher than love and happiness? It's authenticity. So being yeah. authentic, being the best version of you. So when you're just being the best version of you, your energy is just so high up. You're just ready to, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. You got good energy. You're, you're clear minded in what you're doing. Yep. And you know you're being you. So you're being true to yourself as well. Yep. Very true, man. Very true. Authentic. And, and, and hey Gary Breckett study this stuff he studies this stuff so yeah hey Nick I haven't felt like I've advanced in trading last month that's okay a month is too short of time gang a month is very short you know I could have felt really bad in um what was it um February right I could have felt really bad I mean this was my worst month I don't want to say ever because I was a, a a new trader at one point too but this is my worst month in about I would say almost three years. Um, so I could have felt like crap here, you know, and, and, you know, taking these losses and not feel like I was progressing, feel like I was going backward, feeling like my strategy did, wouldn't work anymore. But, and then, you know, obviously I'm doing this live. So now you got motion in the chat and you got people talking here and talking there. And it's like, you can really begin to say, I don't know about this thing. You know, I don't know if I'm progressing, but look, you're progressing every day. Right. I think I learned more this year than I learned in the last two years because of the because of this month of February here, you know, and, and it's OK. You know, you're going to go through seasons of months, quarters, maybe even a year like that. Right. Not every not every day is going to be a profitable day. Not every week is going to be a profitable week. And I don't care if, if your guru's telling you that the opposite of what I'm telling you, he's lying to you. He's lying to you. Right. We just want to we, we can't lie to you, gang. Uh, you're going to have losses. Every system is going to have them. Every every system is going to have losing streaks. And you got to be prepared for that. Does this, does this make me popular? It doesn't. You know, you guys want to shut some people want to shut it down when they hear this stuff. But I got to keep it real with you guys, man. You know, so I could have easily got very discouraged here. And maybe I did. Maybe I did a little bit. Right. I'm only human, but not enough to knock me off. Right. Not enough to get me to do something out of the ordinary, right? Anytime things are not uh, panning out the way they're supposed to be, fix yourself back on the system, right? Maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you off of your system a little bit, which we, when we when we reviewed all these uh, losses in the boot camp, what did we notice? Everyone from the boot camp, who was off, me or the system? It was me, right? I was off. So what do you have to do? You have to get back onto your system, brother. So maybe you're just off the system a little bit. You know, maybe there's things going on in your life. Maybe maybe you've got a couple distractions that you got to think about and it's OK, you know, but you got to kind of center yourself, become aware of it and say, hey, I got to get back to the system, you know, and then everything was gravy after that. You know, and now look at April. It's almost like that didn't even happen. So you just got to stay steady, get back to your system, understand that losing is a part of the game. It's not like you know, oh, you suck at trading because you lost that month or whatever. You know, that's what ro rookie haters will say, right? Haters will say that, but you ain't got to worry about the haters, man. Just yeah. win, right? Yeah. Just win. So that's, stay focused. That's what everyone says. Yeah, just stay oh, locked yeah. in. Yeah, and understand, dude, drawdowns, losing streaks, they're part of the job, man. You know, understand what comes with the job before you take it, right? Before you took your nine to five, right? You understood mm -hmm. what came with, it, right? Same thing with trading. Yep. So it's just part of part of the job, part of the process. And like Nick says, bro, we're all human, right? Things are gonna come up in life that you know we weren't expecting or anything, you know. And we just fall off because we're human. And we, if we just bounce back, in our psychology will be good. Yeah. And um. 
and whoever commented that you know everyone everyone's processes are different everyone has different perspectives on things everyone learns some people learn quicker than others some longer right you know mm-hmm. so you just gave it a month dude it's all good it's just a month for me personally it took me 3 to 6 months to learn the skill sets of trading to learn how to trade so just allowing yourself to have a process bro is and being consistent with that is key um what's his name uh Lance Bryanstein he said yeah. the slow and steady path is the quickest way to get to where you need to be so bro even if it takes 3 to 6 months a year 2 years bro hey if you're slow and if you're on the slow and steady path that's the quickest way you're going to get to where you want to get to yeah heck yeah right so just make sure you're doing everything correct and you'll get there yeah yeah i think it was a couple mo- i think it was a month or two ago i'm pretty sure it was uh xander who said it yeah if i'm not mistaken um he said hey look last year i would have done this this and that right and this year i avoided that now i'm still break even <clears throat> but and this is a couple months ago so maybe he can update us but um i'm still break even but i'm not in that losing phase anymore like and even if it took him all year just to get from that losing phase to that break even where he's avoiding unnecessary losses at that point that one year was so worth it right because that's something that he'll take take with him now for his entire journey so he never has to make those mistakes again will he make them here and there of course again we're human right but they won't be as much right it won't happen as often it will be a very rare occasion where we sometimes will you know revert back to an old habit or something but you know it, it's 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 almost like repentance <laughs> right you got to turn away from it man you turn away and you try not to make those mistakes anymore and uh that's that's like trading yeah man hell yeah yep Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Just win. There you go. <laughs> There you go, energy. Just win. That's the energy. I, yo, what up, energy? Because I think about it like, all right, if it takes you two to three years to quit your job, cool, right? If if it takes you two to three years to quit your job and you quit it and you never go back, lovely. But I rather do that than quit my job in six months and have to go back again for longer and work there long. You're right. Yep. So slow and steady is the quickest way out. Yep. 100%. Do it right. Yeah. Do it right. You do it right, you ain't got to redo it. Oh, Nick, one more. There's this very good quote. It's called it's measure it, measure twice, cut it once, right? So if you do it, you make sure you're doing everything right. It takes you mm-hmm. a little bit longer. You only have to do it once. Yep. That's like a carpenter thing. I love it though. <laughs> I never heard anyone yeah. like say that in a while. I yeah, I, I dig that. That's measure so that true. Measure twice, cut once. It's true yeah, for everything. Uh, everything. Yep. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of things that you can take out of trading and and life in general and they're super similar like for example like if you have 11 months out of the year where you win in trading and one bad month like what does that make you a bad trader no mm-hmm. same thing if in real life say you have 11 really good months so you're just ultimately happy or whatever and you just generally say like I was happy this month yep. and then one you say you have one month where you might might not have been you're stressed out you know a lot of things going on like what your life doesn't suck now Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Got to stay true. Got to keep going. It's actually facts. Keep pushing. Am I using futures to trade gold? I am using futures. Yeah. Yeah, um so real quick chat. So we did close on the 4 hour, right? So we got a 4 hour closure. We didn't close above there. Now, um that could be an issue, right? Because if you look at the 4 hour to the left hand side, you see a lot of these rejections here, right? A lot of rejections coming in on this zone right here on the 4 hour. We don't have a bottom wick either on this candle just yet. So, right? So anytime a candle breaks the high in the first minute or two, that concerns me, right? That tells me that this candle may have a little bit of a little bit of bark, a little bit more bark than bite, I should say, right? And we may come down to create this bottom wick now, and if you look left also, we came up into this area, right? We closed above and then what did we do right after that right we began to drive down here so we do need a pullback at this point on the 4 hour even if we wanted to continue up i would say that we do need some sort of a pullback right on uh, on gold here so i'm just going to sit tight i'm still going to wait on this um probably this 15 or 30 minute closure 
most likely a 30 here today and then see if we could potentially get back down towards these supports right if we do a really quick top-down analysis here like four hour has a support right here right so if you kind of have this this move down and you come and create a resistance here you'll most likely come down later right so if we're anticipating that move today what do we need to see we're going to need to see a 30 minute resistance form something like 30 uh 30 bear close right here like this boom right and then we could say okay maybe now that we've rejected after breaking the highs and closed bearish that we can come down and fill this range right here right and potentially come down into these ranges here uh with volume coming in you know in the next hour or so so that's what we can expect to see potentially um we just got to wait on this closure now so once this closure happens we'll have a little bit better direction here later yeah same thing here you kind of ran up see how every time you ran up here you kind of ran back down ran up ran back down came up closed below drove down came up here boom 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 back down came up again back down right so that's what we're seeing if we can potentially get a read on here yep and in the back of our mind daily's bearish four hour is um is like rejecting didn't close above that resistance yep so why not right with the with that in the back of the head it's it's, it's easier to be fluent with price action with the lower time frame it's yeah. what it wants to do yep yeah the other the, the other idea for buys i would say would be you get a bearish closure and then a bullish candle closing back above now right if you get a bullish candle closing back above now you'll most likely see this clean range get get a uh, get filled so right now it's the open of the new four hour we just gotta wait a wait a moment yep my goal is to just simply follow price action that's it and execute on my edge uh let's see let's see The funded traders back. Ooh, really? That means I got 800k in challenges. I can, I can uh, play. Honestly, right now. was not expecting that. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I think my last day that I was here was the day that they they went out, <laughs> which is really wild, bro. Yeah. That's not Damn, really. That yeah. So like three weeks ago. Damn. I forget. I forget. It was like mid March. That's all I remember. That's good though. Anyone who has like a uh, account with them in the chat, you know, I'm happy for you guys. Yeah, W Xander. See, like that's like w once you really start to learn a skill and apply it, and you know, you understand your system. Like Xander, you mm -hmm. like yep. uh, you understand your system, right? So like, even with those losses in there, you know, you operated with. You know, a nice stop loss every time, nice lot size, everything. And yeah, bro, you played the system to a T. Yeah, really good job right there. Nice. Yeah, way to lower your risk, Xander. Nice. Good stuff. All accounts gone. Damn. How's TFD gonna come back and tell everyone they gotta buy everything again? Interesting. Right? Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, Xander, that's like a good example. Like, it's okay to size down. Like, when you're in a drawdown, all right, just so you can bounce back, get a couple wins in you, and then maybe up your size again, you know? But just because you're in a losing streak, all right. Let's just bounce back, lower my risk here. So my account, so I still have an account to trade with. I really like that you did that, bro. That's good stuff. Because a lot of people, their ego will be like, oh, you suck because you size down. Don't do that. So they keep their size the same. And... You know, they let the drawdown get to their head, which ultimately le leads them to not even following their edge anymore. 
and they blow their account. So I like that you're able to, you know, adapt, bro. Good stuff. Yeah, W, bro. Proud of you, Xander. Way to go, man. Even me, I sized. I'm still not even sized all, all the way back up. And I was in February. So. And the crazy thing, and again, the thing was with the losing streak, it wasn't even the edge, right? It was more of the trader, right? So had none to do with the edge. So just it's okay to size down and bounce back, trade in your edge so you can get those reps in again to size back up. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you're doing an amazing job, Xander. Proud of you, man. Way to go. Keep it up. Keep up Thanks. the good work. I know a winner when I see one. Yeah, W. Imagine your bank saying that. All accounts gone. Hey, don't be surprised, man. <laughs> yeah. You, you never can have know. your account back, but it's empty. Go, feel free to put some more money in it, though. <laughs> nice smile at you. Yeah, that money you had in there, yeah, it's gone. But if you want to put new money in it, no problem. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll gladly hold that for you. All your old stuff. Gone. <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah, them banks be wild. Yo, they, they, that AI be wild nowadays, too. I've okay. seen a video of Jay Powell coming out on stage the other day. And I was like, what am I seeing? Looked like it was, like, real. as Dude, remember that one day Um, they did, like, yes. a AI attack? And that, yeah, they even that tricked the market. That was, like, the, the first one I ever seen, bro. Word. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh... Mark bro, I'll never juice. forget that when we were, uh, they, they were like, uh, it was like a picture of like the Pentagon or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah that? crazy, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. Yo, and then I remember whenever like the AI first like started to hit the, uh, the scenes and we were like showing like, like, yo, like the dude was like, it looked like real life. And he was like, just dragging like objects through like the buildings and stuff. And yep. it was like, whoa. Crazy, yeah, that was bro. nuts. Remember that one you sent me? Yeah, they like had the whole, was that was the about. war zone one or something. It looked right? like, was going uh, on there? like there was a car or something that was yeah. like on fire, yeah, smoking. Yeah. He was like dragging boxes through it, like yeah. with a mouse. I was like, what? Yeah, that's crazy. It's like real life, bro. Crazy. Hey Somebody asked what my favorite video game was growing up. I think it was uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, I think that was my favorite one. That nice and like, baseball, M that MB one, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We can't forget about backyard <laughs> baseball, man. Oh, hell yeah. Roller coaster <laughs> tycoon. Um, Come on, coaster tycoon. Yeah, but I would say either that or um, like NBA 2K or something. Uh, yo, energy. Um, you asked me, um, who that Gary Gary was? The Gary guy was. It's his name is Gary Brecker. He's like a biohacking doctor. Gary Brecker? He's a savage. Let me show you Gary Brecker. Yeah, pull him up. Gary. Yes. Yeah, I seen your comment. Sorry for the late answer, Energy. Hope you're doing great. This is Gary Brecker, the biohacker of the world. He, listen, Gary Brecker says. We, us human beings, have the ability to live till we're 150 years old. Check them out, chat. Really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah, man. And he's in, I think he's like in his 50s or 60s right now. He's blowing up too right now. He's working with a lot of, a lot of like, um, big influential yeah, people. Nelk yeah, Nelk in there. He's working with Kyle. He works with Dana. He did all Gary, uh, Grant Cardone. This guy right here, Carnivore MD, he's one of the best in the business, man. You gotta check this dude out. The real food pyramid. But yeah, Gary, yeah, Stephen A. Smith. He's been working with a lot of, uh, a lot of big names lately. I like the guy and that on there. He talks about like nutrition and stuff, and he's like, only eat eggs, steak. <laughs> That's he's like, it. What is? He's like in the. He's like in Walmart. He's like, look at this. This, this garbage. This is garbage. Yeah, that's carnivore MD. Yeah. I can't cut. Yeah. He's like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Fruit, fruity peppers and protein powder. No wonder our children are obese. Yeah. <laughs> like, Bro, that. straight up roasting the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's eating this garbage? He's like, he's <laughs> I'm in the supermarket looking at that Instagram reel. I'm like, uh, yeah, I guess yeah, I won't pick up cart. the Kraft mac and cheese today. Yeah, let me pull up this back. <laughs> Oh man. 
What's, uh, my, what's my IG? My a lot IG of people are scared to watch his uh, stuff. <laughs> this is my Instagram right here. Yeah, you can follow me on IG. Follow me on IG, man. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate you, Chala. Hope you're doing great, dude. Chala, hope your finger's doing good, brother. Yeah, you got Wayne. I think Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. Like, like anything, you gotta have that like supermarket mentality, right? You gotta pick up what you want, leave leave the rest on the shelf. That's how I treat everyone and everything. You know, it's like, what can I use and what can I use? Charles fingers quick. Hopefully, you put a Just stop to the bleeding, on the, dude. On the needs. <laughs> Hope you put a stop to the bleeding, bro. Dude, cut his fingernail his off. Cut, cut right his in. finger off. Trying, trying to cut his, cut his fingernail. He's trying to cut his cubicle. Holy, oh, trying to cut that oh, cubicle, hey. bro. Joe Stu had long hair. I had long hair too. Look at this chat. I had long hair. I don't have a pic of Joe Stu with long Lose hair. Lose it. Well, oh, maybe I do. Not on here though. You ever growing it back, Nick? Or not? Yeah, we're growing it back. We'll grow it back at some at some point. I'm the only one out of the three brothers who keeps his hair long nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be different. You know? I didn't hear about Leo DiCaprio. Once I don't know, once I say maybe like a year ago I, I started like because I always had real long hair too. Like my hair is like not super long. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, I like not, I, I think I remember it longer. Definitely. Oh yeah, you've definitely seen it probably longer, but I like it short, bro. I don't gotta do nothing crazy. Yeah, wash it ain't greasy. That sh that shower after that haircut was amazing. Oh, uh, it always. I'm like awesome. damn, there's no hair on my head now. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good, hell yeah. Oh, AB Mike had long hair too. The man bun. Hey, Spence, Mike. congratulations, brother. Congrats on um, there was what top step, right? Making moves, bro. Congrats, so. Spence. Oh, uh, energy. I don't think maybe one of these, uh, maybe the, one of the mods can correct me, but I don't think anyone could send a link in the Discord, right? Just for spam and scam purposes. Yeah, probably. yeah I think yeah, that's what's going so. on. There's like a lot of places that just do that, like yeah. by default, too. Like you could try to do it in the YouTube chat right here and it won't let you send a link either. Yeah. It just helps other people. From like, yeah, getting scammed and spam like and all link that. They don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Them scammers, bro. Copy and paste masters. Right. One of my Sheesh. boys almost got scammed. Someone of me. I was like, no, come on. No. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, yeah. Hey, it's uh your friend John Stewart. How are you doing today? He's probably like hitting up all your boys back. It's like, He's like, Yo, no way, John's about to quadruple my money right now, bro. <laughs> it's like some of you I guys when uh, when people get into like network marketing business, they go from like calling their boy up like, Yo, what's good, bro? To like, hey, um George, hi, this is your friend. Nick, I was uh, just wondering if you were yeah. um, considering or open to making an additional extra income stream. It's like, dude, you good right now? What are you on, crack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slow down, bro. Take a breath. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be having a gathering over at my home this Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Would you like to come by? Like, what? What, bro? And then they come back to me like, hey, man, no one wants to do it. Like, uh, yeah, because you sound like, I, I don't even know what you sound like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to take that off the 15 here because we close with like no bottom wick. So it's off to waiting on this 30 closure now. We we should have something at this 30 close here, though, chat. They're 30 stronger anyways. <laughs> Welcome to IML. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he man. called me. He called me. I haven't talked to him since I graduated like a year ago. <laughs> Tell me, I'm like, like, damn. 
your mentor's like, all right, it's time to it's time to enter into your C list. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. How you been? Yeah, yeah, it's Nick. Nick, Nick Stewart. Nick Stewart. Yeah, yeah, remember? Yeah, man, we haven't seen each other since fourth grade. But how you been, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> Looking to make some extra money? <laughs> uh, yeah, network marketing is awesome, but a lot you got you got to be you got to be normal. You know what I mean? It's like anything. You just gotta be normal. Be acting all weird. Normal. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? That from that SpongeBob episode, Sam. Yeah, exactly. The normal. He's like, he's like SpongeBob, just be normal. <laughs> turns into a weirdo. He's like, hi, I'm normal. <laughs> hi, how are you? Lovely weather we're having. He turns into an NPC, bro. Yo, Lovely facts. weather we're having. Yo, facts. Matrix SpongeBob. <laughs> Hey Chad, I got a new camera. We're gonna hook, we're gonna hook this bad boy up to the live streams. Yeah, why are we letting the birds out in the chat? Missed out on the eagle. What is this? <laughs> What's going on in the chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that camera looks crazy, bro. When you when you sent me that picture that That's yesterday, it. I was like, oh, he's about to cook. Content coming. <laughs> content coming. I got a lot of content I'm ready to put out. Time to video. This one's the ZV10. I looked at the A6000, I think it is, and then the, there was another one, the A6 something as well. And for the price points and for what it did and what I'm using it for, I thought that this this one was actually the best in terms of price, and it was a pretty good camera. Yeah, it, yeah, it keeps it clean. Yeah, ZV10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Eagle 4000. Y'all are oh, so yeah. funny, bro. I have no idea what y'all are That's talking right. about. That's right. Yeah, so Sam, you missed, you missed it, it. Bro. Yeah, you missed that that uh, that stream, man. Bro, you yeah. don't know about Eagle 4000? And then they just start letting the birds out? <laughs> this is so funny, bro. Yeah, bro. That's our new indicator we've been using. Really? Yeah, I bought it. <laughs> Slide me that. Nah, someone, someone was in here one day like, spamming like did you guys hear of the eagle 4000 uh it's this system i don't know what it was indicator or something and they just kept saying it and saying it and saying it. i was like finally i was like all right man i'm interested sell me and then they just disappeared <laughs> <It's all. laughs> they're like he's on to us <laughs> That's all, you know. they're like all right, let's go i seen i actually seen someone come in it was like you ever seen um dude where's my car zoltan it was like the leader came in like Guys, do not share the Eagle 4000 with these aliens. These humanoids. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deserve it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They, and then they all just bolted out of the chat and they were just they were just gone. Gone. They were out of here. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> I see. You know, that's so funny, bro. They were gone, bro. They were going to pop their little their little bubble things. Zoltan. <laughs> Tell them, right. Charlotte. They were good advertisers, not salesmen. They Very left true. as soon as they were. They need to throw the pitch. Yeah, some of you guys are knocking on doors as salesmen. You're like, yeah, confident, knocking, 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 door, door, door. Then finally, it's like, yeah, I'm interested. You're like, da, 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 da. <laughs> I've been there, man. I was there. And live. I sold yeah, door yeah, to door. That's funny. Yeah, they they pulled the Eagle 4K <laughs> pulled up and they got like the Shark Tank music playing. <laughs> Dun, dun. They're trying to sell it. <laughs> oh, we're moving up now. We're moving up. Goldie, Goldie. Remember, four hours still is bullish here. So, do, will we will we fill this wick? See that wick right there? That can potentially be a target here. But we got uh we got eight minutes on the thirty here. Fifteen is kind of moving up, like steadily moving up here too. So we're looking for volume, right? There's been no volume really. So what do we know about nine thirty? We have a lot of volume coming in at nine thirty. So if it's gonna happen, you know, it's bound to happen pretty soon here. Don't push without us though. Don't do it. Facts. Uh, eight minutes, gold. 
Yes, sir, Louis G. It's good, bro. Louis G. Louis G is the G. Yeah, I like the Chala's new profile picture. He said, "Flex, flex on him. Hold up, we gotta flex, flex on the haters." Been messing with the news a lot more. Had very good success lately. W, Louis G. W. Big W's. That's how I like to hear it. My goal is to make you guys better than me. Because that, that's just how it's going to work anyways, right? Like, if you like, seriously actually think about it, like, all of the best chess players in the world, like, Magnus Carlsen, he's, the, like, the best, well, they say he's the best chess player in the world. Because he was able to learn from such a young age the strategy and the playbook to play in chess and dominating all these other opponents. So, like, now he just has time on his side, right? So now that he can just, yeah. But, like, he, just, he, learned, he learned the rules of the game. He followed them. And, yeah. Oh, Nelly. Calm down here, Gold. Don't leave without a scold. Come on. Please. <laughs> Please. Hey, Chala. Yeah, can I use your picture? Can we, maybe we, maybe <laughs> like when we're in drawdown sometimes, we go into like this heavy drawdown and then we come back and win. And like obviously the Quakers are there during, during the drawdown. We can maybe throw that picture up ah, and start flexing on them. That'd be sick. <laughs> yeah, play like the Sigma TikTok music. <laughs> I think that'd be sick. Just blow the picture up. Just throw it right here. Chiseled up abs. I'm gonna be like, I can't hear you, bro. <laughs> Chalo, what's good? Did I just do some push-ups? Maybe. Maybe. Do I sound out of breath? I push push-ups. I don't I don't announce the push-ups anymore. I want to see who continues to do it without me. Twenty one chala. <laughs> Twenty one chala. Yo, candles don't lie. I feel you, bro. I feel you. <laughs> hey, he's going to send you it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, um. Yeah, I mean, 30 looked good. We were waiting for a closure, though. 15 close. That, that was your first sign there, like this 15 closing with no bottom wick. But maybe I think we could pull back here. Pull back a little bit over the next four minutes. That would be great. And then we get a wick fill, and then we target a 2394. 2395. Sounds good. Old's going to give us an opportunity here. Yeah, another thing I was thinking of is notice how we didn't have a four hour bottom wick, and then we came down to create it. So. Could we have now entered on the break of the highs, right? Maybe, maybe. It's a little bit of an impulse entry, but um, and not waiting for like a closure here. But that could have been a possible, could have been a possible doorway in today too. But um, yeah. Let's see. A good old pullback, 9:30 blast off would be great. There you go, Jason. Let's go, W. Yeah, training for baseball season. That's what I used to have John doing. For those of you guys that don't know, John's my younger brother. He's like 14 years younger than me. But uh, we taught him about the separation effect early. And this guy, man, while everyone's eating Wheaties and Cheerios for breakfast before school, my guy was out there taking taking hits off the uh, tee, fielding, all that good stuff, man. That was that was amazing. It's no surprise right. why you were like the best in the league. <laughs> 
towards the end of your career. <laughs> no surprise. Right. Oh yeah. W's. No surprise. Johnny Boy be hitting dangers. Dangers, dude. I should post some of the videos in the dis Discord. Honestly, yeah, that would be sick. You should. Heard. Maybe later. Johnny Neutron, bro. Dangers, bro. Dangers. Yeah, hell yeah. And since I put the hey, since I put the work in, I I reap the re rewards. So. Yep. Simple. Your success is guaranteed, right? You just you control the input. The outcome is guaranteed, but the input is in your hands. The input's on you. Come on, pull back here, Gold. Give a little pullback. Give a little pullback. Gold, I know we have a great relationship. Just please listen to me this one time. Do you consider 2388 level as resistance based on previous data rejections? 88 right here. This guy. Yeah, potentially, potentially. Um, with volume though, we should, and we if we break, like I really wanna see a pullback here. And then once we like break that high, volume should continue driving us. So this this shouldn't be an issue. Maybe if there wasn't a lot of volume in the market, yeah, but we're we got we're one minute away from running into a lot of volume here. So I would anticipate this to get blasted through, but maybe not. Um and price to kind of tap into to uh twenty three ninety five here. Yeah, I also don't want to overanalyze. You know, sometimes we can overanalyze as traders trying to protect ourselves from taking a loss or something right you just want to execute i know we got clean traffic to the left the one thing i do know is we are pretty pretty extended here on the four hour right but again that wick may be the target here so 55 seconds for a closure let's see what happens yeah we got a nice clean range right here Oh, Scott's internet's quaking. Chala's fingers quaking. Oh, uh oh. All right, pull back now. Or close with no wick. That's cool too. Close with no wick, and then you got clean traffic coming down. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm not going to take these buys regardless. Anyway, up here, three, two, one, probably closing with like little to no wick. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't can't pull it. Just got to smile. Can't pull the trigger here. Yay. Got to wait on it. It's gone. Everyone's PC is quaking today. Uh oh. Yeah, keep in mind a lot of rejection here. But man, I feel like this is where we're trying to head. Really wanted that candle to pull back. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ here. 30 close, 30 close below there. One hour also close below. See if we, looks like we're trying to work on the top. I, I don't, I honestly, I don't like NAS during the open. This thing gets crazy during the open. Yeah, Goldie, man, not giving us the best price action here. Got resistance 20 pips away. Yep. I mean, current candle, like, I don't know. It like juiced up so much. Four hours has been rocking here too.
What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> Gold behaving bad badly. Yeah, I think we're on our way to fill that wick, chat. It's giving us the worst price. That yeah, it's not too good. Fifteen minute. Look at this. This whole session here. We started the session right here. Just all choppiness. This was your only volume candle here at nine fifteen, and nine fifteen was um was not the best to take a buy right according to that previous. It, it looked pretty good on the thirty. Um, in the one hour, but not the greatest down here. Choppy. The moves have, yeah, the moves on NAS do happen later. I, I would say so too. Yeah. And lately gold has been moving a bit later. Like my last few trades were actually 11 AM. These two were Asian session, but 11 AM two thirty PM after pal that day, 11 AM. Yeah, so the last few trades here were, were pretty pretty later. Thirty minute buy is easy. Yeah, it is easy. I would expect price to come up here, but that's like what, twenty twenty pips? <coughs> twenty pips. This is tricky here. This is very tricky. You're at the top of the more so at the top of the range. Um, <clears throat> smart Roger. Roger concepts are not showing. Is there a link to that trade sheet? Yes, there is. You can hit exclamation point journal in the chat and then it'll pop up for you. So I'll 10, put stops at B. Nice, nice. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 9.30 has not been rocking lately. If you look, a lot of a lot of the moves have been happening towards ten versus nine thirty. Yeah. So anyone who executed buys there using curry candle stops. Something I've learned from experience was like, talk to him. You can't buy at the top. Like, the move already happened. Like, this bull move already happened, especially using current candle stops. That's that's a little hard, right? Um, but there's been so many times where I would buy at the top of a move where we already, the bull move already happened. I bought now using current candle stops because stops are massive. Every single time, more times than not, getting stopped on that. Yep. So there's if, only one stop. if there was a lesson for you, it would be don't buy at the top, right? Don't buy at the top of the move, right? We want to get in for the move, right? We don't want to get in after the move happened. Yeah, and that's the only the only stop that the market's giving you, right? So if that's the only stop, the only logical one, otherwise the other one's way too steep, then you know they might hit that, right? They might hit that stop. So a lot of times if we're overextended like this, we need a new we need a new move down and a new support before we can take a buy there. Yeah, cuz this this type of stuff can happen. Lots of volume. 100%. Lots of volume. Yep. 4 hour now Boom. rejecting. Big rejection. Look at that. Big rejection in this area. Holy. Whoa. Damn. Yep. Don't blink. Go quiet. So here's the thing. Even no matter how experienced you are, no matter how, no matter how many years you've been trading, the markets will always be tempting you every single day. So you have a choice to trade your edge or to listen to your ego, right? Because even me here, I was, I was honestly tempted to take a buy here, nine thirty volume, right? But I have so I just have experience where like I know that that's that that was kind of gonna happen like there's a high probability for it to reject and i've i've lost on that move like several times so you're always going to be tempted from the markets 
that's why you got to perform discipline. You got to perform discipline to your rules and to your, to your data. You're always going to be tempted. Yep. Bingo. And look, maybe your system called for a buy there, and that's totally fine. Your system is going to have losses in it, right? So as long as you yep. followed your plan and your system, you're good to go. You're good to go. We're just we're just kind of giving you a perspective from our system because we've got the mic. All right, we're holding the microphone, but that doesn't make your system any worse or better than ours. You know, it just it's all good as long as you're following your plan. All right, someone else may have some sort of moving average here, and they they might have sold right there. Boom, beautiful sell for them. Maybe somebody had a moving average coming around and they bought, you know, beautiful buy. So just got to follow your plan. Nah, it's going crazy. Oh, Ah, of course, the one day Naz actually respects everything on the open instead of breaking highs, breaking lows, breaking highs. Of course. <laughs> There's that bottom wick, too, by the way, for the one hour. What platform am I using or prop firm? I'm using a, a broker called Tradeovate. It's a futures broker. And I'm just trading my um, my own capital on, on that account. Once uh, once um, top one gets trade locker all set up, I'm going to trade that account too. <laughs> I went out to take a breath. Later. Need to change your, change your strategy? Uh, how about no? After the sales ejection, good choice, not a playbook trade. Yep, not my playbook trade. Somebody else's trade, not mine. If it's your trade, I want to congratulate you and tell you how, how happy I am for you to take profits. Thirty second time frame, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Change your strategy. Um, let me think about that for a second. No. <laughs> it's the glory to the father strategy, brother. We already win it. <laughs> I was considering the Eagle 4K strategy. Triple O, Eagle O, Double O, 4K. It's coming. I'm working on it. Just gotta set it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I sent the dude the money. Uh, I'm just waiting for him to send me the files. It's, it's been three weeks, though. <laughs> Sam, we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you saying that to us? I thought you were on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm like, what? Is he on the phone? It's like, no, send the files. The, the files. Sam, mute, mute. I'm talking man about down, man down. Okay, bro. We strong. got a bleeder. <laughs> <Strong>. <laughs> send the files. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, send me the files, bro. I sent him 10 bitcoins. Just like they ask. <laughs> oh, beautiful, Sebastian. <laughs> good stuff, brother. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Xander. Had to pay him another three Bitcoin. You're waiting on yours, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're all up. set. Just need about one more Bitcoin, and we'll be all fine-tuned and ready to go. And then we can let the eagle take flight. <laughs> the eagle's ready. We're just waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the eagle has landed. We're good to go. Man down, man down. Sends the extra Bitcoin. Gone. <laughs> Bank is going, going, going. Going, going, gone. Yeah, chat. I think we should introduce the Eagle 4000. <laughs> I think we should. Yeah, the Eagle 4000. It lets your profits and your account take flight. 
<laughs> go up to the moon. Yeah, we got a big one hour close here, man. Big one hour closure. It's a big range right here. This is, uh, I've been waiting for cells blow here all day, so we'll see if we get them. All day. Apex, you could do multiple counts in Tradovate. You know about that? Yes. Yeah, I'm not trading a prop firm account though right now. I'm just trading uh, my own capital. <laughs> just bullied, bullied this whole range here, man. Hour closure in liquidity. 17 minutes. Look at this. This has been our session here, chat. Bunch of nasty hourly candles here. Just stuck in a box. Just <laughs> right stuck in a box. <laughs> like five hours ago. <laughs> Box strategy. Play the box. For real. Come on, Cold. <laughs> yeah, that four hour is coming down now. <laughs> oh, yeah. With that daily. You see how the four hour and daily is lined up here, chat? Yep. We never broke daily highs either. Four hour rejected right in that area in which we were looking for rejection. Did we break that low yet? I think we might have broke the low too. So, you know, you know, it takes time for these things oh, yeah, to pan did. out. <clears throat> it takes time. It may seem like a long time because we're on a live stream here. But at the end of the day, this is trading. You know, you're going to wait hours sometimes. You guys see my Instagram story? You're going to come out the bunker like, I can't see a thing. The light. <laughs> my eyes. Come yeah, I mean, the there's bunker, a reason. Bro. There's a reason all the professional traders like be patient. Gotta be patient to wait like four hours, five hours. <clears throat> yeah, green yuck. <laughs> Do I take trades offline? Of course. Absolutely. Can you explain the lasagna play? Yeah, those are the offline plays. <laughs> I look for the lasagna offline. <laughs> What's the best free or paid course for beginners? Uh, the Time to Eat New York Session live streams is the best free course. And the best paid course is the Time to Eat Elite program, the four-week program. Yeah. Four week is insane. Second insane. Minute. By the way, guys, Signals channel will not open up. So for everyone that's been asking, I try to put the word out on IG. You guys have been asking, hey, can you open the Signals channel? And the answer is no. Nope. No more signals. I may... No, no. I may come up, someone, I think it was TK gave me an idea where if it was like, what about if you didn't send a signal? What about if you just sent an idea, right? So maybe there's a possibility. Let me sit on that. But the whole signals thing is most times it's not going to help you. If I send you an idea, then you can go study that idea, learn that idea, you know, begin to dive into it. But, you know, an exact e exit price, entry and exit price is not going to help you. Why not trade with prop firm anymore? I still do. I, I mean, I have accounts with TFT. I have two 400K accounts with TFT. And then I have a 200K account with top one. So I still have those accounts, uh, I think, TFT. Unless you guys are saying they've all been, they they've all been terminated. <laughs> for probably but no reason. I definitely have my top one account, uh, my 200K. I'm just waiting for Trade Locker, and uh, I'm going to use that one. Feds Williams, I don't feel urgency to cut rates. Could you explain why gold dropped after that? Yes. So the reason why that would make gold go down 
is because if they're not feeling any urgency to cut the rates or bring them down, then what does that mean? We'll keep the rates up higher for longer, which gives us strength to the dollar, just like Nick said. And then uh, obviously if you have a strong dollar, it's gonna bring weakness to your asset classes like gold, stocks, etc. Yep. That's why you see Naz juice down like that too, I'm sure. Later. Later. Big 30 closure, big one hour closure here. It's not looking the hottest here on gold. Yeah, my TFT was auto breach, damn. Damn, that's why I try to tell you guys, top one, man. Top one holding it down. Top one is paying out. On, they're doing payouts like almost every day. Every single day they're doing payouts. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? Is are you getting paid? Are you getting paid out? And, you know, some of these big dog companies that we were looking at as these giants, they're, they're having a lot of problems right now. A lot of problems. They've got hundreds of thousands of dollars of payouts pending. And the business probably doesn't have the money in it. You know, I'm I'm just just throwing an idea, right? I don't know if that's true or not, but from the looks of it, um, doesn't sound like they got they got enough to pay. And that's bad math. Bad math. Bad math for a businessman. Yeah, if you want to if you want to learn how to trade, you're not going to learn how to trade with signals. Like if you want to learn how to trade with me, come to the YouTube live streams or sign up for the elite program and that's where you're going to get the learning. But getting an alert to your phone with a entry price, exit price and take profit price, it's not going to do anything for you. Yeah, some of you guys are like, how could he say that? He could be making money on that. It's it's really, it's not about that. I'm no longer driven by money, gang. I, money doesn't drive me anymore. Once you get a certain amount of money, you no longer look at, look at it the same, right? So it's not like I have hundreds of millions of dollars, but I'm no longer driven based off of a dollar. Like when you guys get like 80 grand, 100 grand in your bank, you, you that's probably the last time you'll ever think about money, right? So money's not everything. Yeah, it's facts. You're, and plus, you'll if it's all if it's all about money, you're always just gonna want more of it. There'll never be a satisfying thing for you. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I, I think I haven't thought about money since I had like 50k in the bank. I haven't thought about money. Everything else from here is just whatever. You know, you don't. Have, it's cool because you don't have to do. When you focus on for money, when you focus on what you're passionate about, that's when the money comes. But when you focus on the money and making more of it, that's when you start to lose it. So just yeah. focus on your passion, what your passion is, and the yeah. money will be a byproduct of you doing that. That was what I was just gonna say, and this is like, you know, you gotta know what you want. Nick wants freedom more than anything. That's priority, top priority. Yep. All right. So the money is just extra afterwards. After that, you know, as long as you're free, yeah, you can go out and do whatever you want. You'll realize really, like, money ain't like nothing too crazy. Yep, just that's so notes. true. Not facts, Sam. That's key, bro. Remembering your why. Like every day, you guys should be reminding yourself why you're doing what you're doing. You know, like on my trading plan. You know, I have my why written down on my trading plan, on my edge, so I know why I'm doing this. You know, why do I really want to be disciplined to it? And your why is going to drive you straight up. So true. I always hear Eric Thomas, what do you want? <laughs> you ever hear that video? What do you yeah. want? Gotta know oh, what yeah. you want. Remember, what did Earl Nightingale say? The, st the strangest secret is what? Men simply don't think, right? No, they don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. When you and he also you want, said, go up to any it. man. Sorry. No, go ahead, because your part is better. He also said, you know, we'll go in the streets and, and go up to a man and be like, what is the secret to success? And not one man can tell you. 
Someone, someone do that exercise and let me know. Man becomes what he thinks about. Yep. Uh, I can listen to that all day. I can get very deep with that audio. <clears throat> yep, exactly, Scott. That's what I've always looked towards. You know, I've never really looked towards the money aspect. It's like, how could I f have fun making a living in a way? Or like, how could I have fun and serve people and help because fun to me is honestly pouring into people helping people as you guys can see like i enjoy that so um yeah figure out a way to build a business around it you know and then you uh never work a day in your life and trade trading itself is a business like it's a venture you know it's straight up a business so if that's what you're passionate about too you know run it up yeah. Secret to success is realizing you already have it. Yes. The famous quote in that one book, you're already rich. You're born rich. Now you just got to figure out how much money you want. You're already born rich, though. So facts. Later purpose. Take yeah, care, my man. Peace purpose. Yeah, because we have the poor man has everything a rich man has, right? Just less valuable. So we're, we're, we're pretty rich. Yeah, if you think about it, most of us live better than a lot of like kings did way back in the day, right? Like kings don't have this self king, kings don't allow kings didn't have this opportunity to talk to Sam, who's in Pennsylvania right now and talk to John and, you know, talk to you guys like we're living luxury, gang. We're actually we're up. <laughs> kings didn't have no car. Yep, yeah, word. I was uh, talking like, about it in my Bible study the other day, man, about the front runner, you know, like we were talking about John the Baptist and paving the way for Jesus and his ministry. And, you know, it, we were talking about kings back in the day. They had the, they had a front runner, too, you know, and their front runner that if the king needed to travel, he wasn't going to travel on a road that wasn't already inspected, you know, so that that uh, that front runner begins to inspect the road, make sure there's no boulders or no detours that need to take place. And if there is, he wants to get it out of the way before before the king comes through, you know, so same thing. Yeah, it's crazy how many like things we have that we just take for granted nowadays. Yeah, like um, I always like to think like, what would I do if like I just like right now I'm sitting in front of the computer and like every single one of these screens just lost power and my phone lost power. Your internet and, went down. Like, well, what would I go? Yeah. What would, what would I go do? I always think of this thing. Yeah. Yo, facts. <clears throat> Big it's one like, hour close here. Sheesh. Yeah. This one hour candle has been all over the place. You know, cause it's like, if you aren't using these things, these screens in the right way, you know, it really is all just smoke and mirrors to keep you distracted throughout your day instead of you know just getting to the things that you know inside that you need to go do yeah oh uh, yeah bro it's facts On social media you most likely consume and don't create you gotta use it's that like to create the, not consume it's like the quote like the magic you're looking for is in the work you're avoiding to do pretty much yeah if you guys um like wake up and begin to jump right into the world i would encourage you to slow down i would encourage you to create before you begin to consume in your day create means understanding your goals <laughs> setting the setting your intentions for the day understanding what needs to get done that day right Cons creating right journaling like creating your future and it's not a fairy tale man like i look back at i have journals stacked of I have multiple journals here, like eight or nine journals. And everything I wrote in those journals three years ago is the life I've I've been living, right? And I didn't have that life while, while I was writing them. So that's what we mean by create, right? Don't just jump on and consume unless it's my content. No, I'm just kidding. Don't even consume my content, right? <laughs> create first and then, you know, um, go out and, you know, put it together. Definitely. The king of the UK has a car, but he didn't have a car a thousand years ago. He had a, he had a, uh, what do they call that thing? Um, buggy. with the horse. Yeah, the yeah, horse, yeah, and the horse and buggy. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, one hour close coming up. 
10 a.m. existing home sales coming in. Yeah, chariot. Yep. I love seeing how everyone's brain works and everyone says a different thing. <laughs> Cart. Horse. Chariot. News? Question mark? I think we do. Existing home sales. They're looking at a decrease in the existing home sales. But we'll see, we'll see. It's home sale, so it won't give you like a crazy move like you've just seen at 9 30. <laughs> or with like the news. I'm out. Take care. Happy hunting. Later. Bye, Lala. Take care. Brush Bye. your hair, brother. Later, my man. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy it. I'm not trading uh, my top one account. I'm waiting for um, them to put it put it on Trade Locker. So they're testing out the platform and all that. So just waiting on that. Yeah, UFC uh, 300 was good. A lot of good fights. Really good fights, actually. Yeah, that Holloway fight was insane. Fight of the night. Really Holloway nice. and Gaethje. Gaethje's one of my favorite fighters. I really like Holloway too. Love thy neighbor. Yeah, those guys do love each other. They really do. You see them guys at the end of the fight, man? They they got a lot of respect for each other, man. A lot of respect. Horse and cart, there you go. I feel like you see that in a lot of industries too, like where it's just like the top dudes, you know, they don't really ever beef because they know what it takes, right? So it's hard to yeah, really disrespect someone who's out there doing the same grind as you every single day. That's true. Nice. Oh damn, fifteen thousand? I'm not can't be risking that. Which one is this? I need to go on my other one. Yeah, I might uh I might take this celery play here on the Nasdaq. Looks clean. Yeah, it does look really good. That daily and four hour and everything. I was just looking at that. Looks really good. Oh. Holy yo, one unit is like red. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see if this works out. It should work out pretty well on that. Should have a lot of volume in. Gold is, yeah. Gold is not doing too much here. That's that, and then what do we got? Gold is, yeah, gold cl gold closed back in the range here. No bottom wick or anything just yet. So, yeah, that one hour, we didn't get the one hour to close how we wanted it.
Yeah, Gaethje's dirty, man. I like Gaethje. Gaethje versus uh, who was that? What? He had a, he had a lot of good fights, actually. Yeah, and then we'll wait on gold. Gold might be a later move here today. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, four hours tough, man. Four hours real tough. Broke the highs, broke the lows. Crazy. Crazy. The NASDAQ may work out here, though. NASDAQ's like super clean. Pretty clean trade. For a wick fill. Yo, TK, I miss you too, brother. TK! TK! Hey, you did. What's today, Thursday? Today is Thursday, yep. TK, when are you pulling up? Pull up for the weekend. Quick weekend <laughs> trip. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Alright. Um, the... Pull up, pull up. Come on, TK. Pull up, why don't ya? Gramps invited you? Oh, your grandpa's in uh, Florida? I got, oh, you gotta go to the bay. Grandpa's in the bay. Down by the bay. Where am I from? I am from, um, I grew up in New York. Grew up in New York and now live in uh, Florida. All right, cool. I'm in here. We'll see what happens. Back to the bay you go. Thirsty Thursday. That's right. It is Thursday. Oh, what the heck? Naz, you crazy. You crazy. Simmer down. <laughs> you guys seen that? Oh, Flip. We, we flipped over to gold, flipped back, and the thing was like way up there. <laughs> little fluctuation. Do a little fluctuation. That was a second. Yeah, this candle could be a, a crazy candle here, man. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty low risk on this trade. Gold trying to come down here too. Let's see. Gaethje versus Holloway. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a good fight. Yeah, all Holloway fights are really good. He's a good uh he's a good fighter. Good entertainer too. Gold up. Broke the high here. We had very little, very little topic on this candle here. I see on this 30 minute candle. Wix she lives in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Wix does live in Florida. Yep. Wix lives like in Miami though. I think he's like a couple hours from me. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm going to get out of this trade. Me no likey. Yeah, I'm manage that and get the heck out of there. Naz is dangerous. Dangerous. Nazzy Dazzy. She wanted to dance. Nazak. Naz want to dance. Oh, we grabbed the pack here on gold, too. Oh, I'm sorry. That's I'm waiting on gold cells. My bad. 
Goldie. Goldie, Goldie. Have I seen the rainstorm in Dubai? I've seen that. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, bro. You know what's even crazier? Is, like, how's it even raining there? It's a desert. <laughs> yeah, right. They said that was the craziest rainstorm in, like, um, like, over a decade. I was told that they make their clouds over there. <laughs> yeah, TK, that's what, I was told. that's what I was told. They seed them. Yeah, you ever seen a video of them doing that? Crazy, bro. I never even realized. They spill the beans in uh, Paw Patrol. You got to watch these kid movies. They give all the sauce in the kid movies. Really? <laughs> yeah, man. Better hope it ain't bamboo. Oh, that's actually wild. They overseeded them. It had one year of rain and five hours. That's actually insane, bro. Jeez. That's crazy, damn. One year of rain in five hours. That's wild. They just... No wonder why everything flooded. They probably don't have good yeah, flood. That, uh, and they don't have good yeah. drains in that either. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Because, uh, well, like, never rains, bro. Why would they need them? Yeah, for real. You see your mentor's Lamborghini <laughs> floated away. Whoa! Dubai, <laughs> where Lamborghinis just flo <laughs> float down the road. I seen a car underwater, like, literally. <laughs> Dude said, how's your trading going? <laughs> Underwater car. <laughs> goldy, goldy, gold. Oh, they got great drainage. Interesting. Yo, how's my city doing with the flooding? I'm pretty sure it's back to normal now. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. I've never seen anything like that in my life, bro. Where it, like, literally comes up. Yo, it's chat, so, like... Where I live, it's um, it's a city, and it's surrounded by three major rivers, right? It's like on the middle of an island. And so the, the rivers literally overflowed and started spilling into the streets, bro, and the tunnels, and everything was underwater. <laughs> it's Damn. crazy. Damn. Jeez. Wow. Hold on, that might have the picture still. But yeah. Where am I? I'm from though. I'm from Pittsburgh. It's not a natural rainstorm. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> They're not ready for that convo. They're not the ready. Yeah, true. We'll leave it there. Yeah, we'll leave it there. <laughs> we don't need a matrix stack. <laughs> All right, let me just mark this up here. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah, I'm glad I managed that. Gold up. Man, gold's all over here. Nasty, nasty hour time frame. Later, Magnus. Later, later. Later. Peace. Check Bitcoin. All right, let's do it. I only look at Bitcoin on the weekly or the monthly chart. You know what happened at that green line, eh? Whole lot of green at that green line. Yeah, that was a wise decision there. Wise decision. Should we hold or buy on Bitcoin? I wouldn't buy right now, but I would definitely hold it. <laughs> Raja, I seen he had to train out the pool. Dude said, you got to know how your house works. <laughs> <laughs> Should you hold That's a buy so on funny. Bitcoin? I haven't really like been on any of my stuff. So yeah. <laughs> funny, man. That's so funny, bro. I completely forgot he's dealing with all that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I would hold, I I would hold your works. BTC. I don't see why not. It's probably going to go to 100K.
why is that so funny to me, bro? Like, I don't know how your house works. Like, what, bro? It's like instructions. <laughs> like, what? man, like, lifted <laughs> up his floor, <laughs> went down into like this bunker, and uh, started turning some some drains. <laughs> so <laughs> funny. Yeah. Yeah, I took a buy. I took. I bought Bitcoin here, uh, and this is gonna make me look really good. But I promise you, I'm. I'm not that good. I'm really not. I but can I, vouch. This is true. <laughs> but uh, but I purchased in September here, gang. <laughs> Which it's literally true, bro. It's so loud. It's yeah. funny. I do see an onion play on the monthly. Bro, like, she gone. Yeah, this is not my knowledge, right? This is someone else helped me here. But uh, yeah, it was in a bull run there in in 2022, and now back in on this uh this this run here. So it's been it's been great. Yeah. Now yeah. you guys know why I wake up and smile we every that, day. Yeah, we we <laughs> low key knew that that was gonna happen, though. because like once they started to mention like cutting rates, then that makes the assets all all that more favorable. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this wasn't like a day so now, trade position though. You know, this was this chat. This was like a we we deployed the bags there. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a day trade position. So yeah, we. I'm very happy with this bull run. <laughs> very happy. Yeah, it's W. Yeah, we talked about it in September too. We talked about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you definitely, honestly, probably told the stream. Yeah, like, I think we plenty did. Plenty of times too, honestly. Like yo, yep. bought a couple of Bitcoin. Yeah, because it's like you had different plans for it initially too yeah and then just ended up holding on to it yep yeah i didn't i mean i didn't expect this you know i just got a good tip right, yeah. and it worked out well and that's just sometimes how how it is yeah scared money don't make no money you gotta put it up <laughs> <laughs> green's tight Green, <laughs> hey, know. Green, Green wanted a personal, a personal phone call about it, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. Look at Xander <laughs> said, yeah, you did. He said I did. You gotta pay attention. Sam said I did. Xander said I did. Come on, Green. <laughs> <laughs> Your impression of Raja is on point. It's so good, it feels mild racing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh man yeah btc man shout out to bitcoin how you doing oh man yeah i'll give you so i'll say it right now the next the next bag gets deployed here around 56 to 54 somewhere in this area is what i paid a lot of information to know about so if you guys want to know where i'm getting back in is uh we got to break those lows there and then you know tap into those ranges 50 56 fi 56 to 54 somewhere around there the bags are going in yes mark you should hold your buy well i don't know is it a is it a long-term investment or is it a day trade like a scalp intraday trade if it's long-term hold if it's a uh, intraday or something, I'm not too sure what to tell you. Yes, I did green, and now I tell it. Now I tell you again: 56 to 54, 56 to 54. Oh, connect! Imagine if I was in a trade there. Holy! Holy! Hey. Yeah, man. When we're at 100K, Green, don't say I didn't tell you. <laughs> when we dip down to 56 and then pull up to 100, chat, chat. You guys hear, heard it here, right? You guys hear it, hear it now. I really, what I really wanted to dump a lot in was below 15 here. But we never got there. So I had that line there. I wanted to try and get something down here because we we had this really bearish rally there. I was really hoping we could dip down. So I missed all this, but this was good money. Yeah, 
Is it the people's Maybe money? Scott. Who knows? We don't know. All right, Scott. Later, bro. Yeah, I think I'll probably call peace, here pretty peace, soon, Scott. too. Let's see. Let's see yeah. where we at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one hour is jammed up here. Let's see what Naz is doing. Yeah, Naz is not, not doing good. Um, yeah, chat. I think we'll call it a day. <clears throat> Scott's leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it, uh, man. Um, there may be another move to play out. I would keep an eye on the one-hour candles here and uh, see what you can potentially look for. You know, you got that clean range here. You got the clean range above. Four-hour is struggling, so it's a bit tough there. Daily candle has got like seven hours left on it, and it's really bullish, right? So you may continue that move up to, uh, to potentially close above the range here, right? Remember what we said uh, on the breakdown this morning? that if the that tomorrow may be a little bit of a cleaner day when it comes to go <clears throat> when it comes to gold right because if you can get a closure above there now we can say okay it's friday we can most likely and and we break those highs we can target that wick fill up there right so we can see something like that so i think tomorrow will be a much cleaner day um in terms of price action today we were just super super choppy super super choppy yeah Thanks. Our candles are jammed <laughs> up here. And that's fine because we only want the best. Yep. Sir. So, yeah, man. That's all, folks. That's all, all right, bet. Yeah, W. Yo, it's so great to get on here with you guys again. I miss you guys yeah. so much, bro. You I coming you, bro. I, again. You coming tomorrow? I miss you too, bro. Yes, sir. All right, bet. Sam bet. got motion, yes, chat. Sam got motion. <laughs> Got it. Yes, sir. Cool. Sir, chat. Yeah, all right. W's, bro. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys all soon. Okay. All right, brother. Yeah. Peace, Sam. Good. Have a great day, man. I'll talk to yes, you later. Yeah, later, you boys. Too. Chat. Sir. Take it Peace, easy. Next. Peace, chat. Peace, later, John. Later, later. Peace, Sam. Fish. He's gone. And there goes John. Gone. All right, they out. All right, chat. I seen a question. Which uh, which video of mine would I recommend? Uh, probably the playbook video. Probably the playbook video. Just to just to get a mentality of a playbook and the mentality mentality around what a playbook is. I think that will help you out regardless of whether you stick to my playbook or not i think it's just smart to understand the mentality behind the playbook so i think that's a good one to listen to over and over again seems to be the most um seems to be the most common video watched here as well when i look at those videos i think that one's got the most views so i think that one's a good is a good video for you to watch and get um get to know a little bit this one right here all right so i'm out catch you guys tomorrow for the big Friday. Hope you guys have a great one. Glory to the Father on the way out of here. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Love y'all. I'm gone. Later. Shout out to all the mod squad. Later, gang. Stain until he comes.